Hello, Internet, and welcome to another episode of Slaying 101. It feels like it's been a Gregorian year since we played this game. It's really only been three weeks, but I missed it so much. Missed you all. So here we are again uh, to play. I don't know what that voice was that I was doing. <laughs> I always end up doing this weird voice like halfway through an intro. Um, Maybe if I started planning them, that wouldn't happen, but <laughs> <laughs> have you met me? Anyway, welcome. We're playing Monster of the Week today. Um, let's see. Do I have any announcements as far as GGK stuff goes? Um, our regularly scheduled things you can find on our schedule in its regularly scheduled place. Um, if you are live with us here on Twitch, down below our faces it's also pinned to our twitter um and probably somewhere in our discord so join us for our regularly scheduled things um coming up later this week we have the continuation of tidefall uh one of our Dern's engine durgans games where you can see many many ggk friends including sid where i went to point and i realized i'm not looking at the thing i don't know where you are she's <laughs> <laughs> here somewhere oh, um that. Among other things, um, we've had lots of uh, podcast things happening on the channel. Um, wow, we just had another episode of Cyberscape posted, um, and then a surprise podcast that me and Sean made and didn't tell anyone about until we posted the first episode. Um, so surprise, if you didn't know about that new podcast, uh, it's called Storyboard, and uh, we talk about stories and we're gonna play a game but we posted our setup episode um earlier this week it's on Castbox and itunes it's called story board b-o-r-e-d um i think that's all from me um i'll let the rest of the crew introduce themselves and tell you about what they're doing because you know where to find me i'm savvy savvy seaworth on twitter and i run games on this channel and occasionally play in them uh, heck, I don't know who's next to me in the overlay. It's GB. It's GB. Hey, GB, tell the people about yourself. Hey, Greybeard here of Greybeard Tavern. Check my Twitter with the name next to the big at symbol. It has my schedule, uh, and it's always a good time. But that schedule is wrong, I realized, because everybody keeps switching games on me and nights and stuff. <sighs> Try it out come over there watch my twitter it'll be there and it's october so you know it's new toy fun time so you know uh i uh got just a few new toys to play with and i love it um uh yeah and i've even been building some toys for <laughs> for different games i'm in so come on by that's what i love to do Who's i'll find there? a way to put that toy in this game Mm. Uh, Sid. Hi, I'm Christina Sid. I'm at Greek Sid on the Twitters. Uh, not on there too much, but you can at least see what's going on with me. Um, here on Sundays and every other Wednesday, and then you can see me over on uh, Fem and PC on Tuesdays for Neverland Five E. Uh, yeah, yeah, Peter Pan's totally a lich. This, this shit's getting real. And, uh, yeah, we just, uh, waterboarded a fairy and, uh, then, like, got welcomed to a fairy ball. It was good times. Good times. So, come check that out. That sounds amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, LB. I am LB Hackamup. You can find me at LB Hackamup on all the things. I usually retweet the things that I do. I think there's a schedule up on my Twitter. I don't know. We're winging it. Uh, if you want to talk to me, uh, I'm on Discords. So, yeah. <laughs> I do a lot of things. Mostly not, though. <laughs> Very good. Not this week, particularly. <laughs> it's a lot this week. We'll be traveling, so. Oh, fun. That's right. Um, those are things. And Sean, I don't know why I looked. You're the only one left. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sean. Uh, at the Kraken King on Twitter, but like I said, I'm never there. Um, so 
that's it. Uh, I'm here. Do stuff on this channel, podcasts, things like that. Uh, I think you promoted everything that I was going to promote, Savannah, so I'm not going to go into any of that. Great. Good announcements, everyone. <laughs> professional. Yeah. Uh, well, when have I ever done anything professional on this channel? Let's be real about that. All right. Um, yeah. Let's play a game. Yay! All right, where last we, um, I was gonna change the music, but I like the chill country music for this for now, so I'm gonna leave it because it's happy. Uh, yeah, where last we left off, um, the mystery that you were previously working on uh, with the ghosts and the books and the stealing of the desk uh, and the frivolity and the casting of spells uh, was successfully solved congratulations another congratulations um we solved our first mystery um and perhaps have moved into a new one um last time when you were approached by a classmate of yours uh named something <coughs> bb i think was her name um who pointed out to you some strange happenings nearby. Um, it has been rumored that one of the uh, members of the university's swim team was acting incredibly strangely, um, including going into public places and admitting very embarrassing and terrible secret things about himself for whatever reason. Um, and so while uh, looking into that, via the most awkward um, conversation that I've ever witnessed in my fake or real life and I will never forget um, you didn't learn a whole lot uh, but did while uh, spending some time with Travis and uh, planning to do some crimes and some breaking and entering um, witnessed a university professor having a complete and total meltdown um, storming out of class, chucking his briefcase across the quad, papers going everywhere, um, and then an entire uh, almost 100 student uh, calculus class running out of the class, storming onto the concourse. Um, you ran into an old friend of yours named Chaz, um, who we decided that was his name about two minutes ago, because I couldn't remember. Um, who informed you that everyone in the 96 student uh, calculus class had passed their exam with flying colors, full marks, uh, throwing the professor into a complete tizzy and causing an uproar. But they swear they didn't cheat. Because Chaz never cheats. Because Chaz don't cheat. Hashtag and uh, Chaz don't cheat. I think that that is the uh, the moment in which we left off. Um, you were all sort of on a video call together, talking about the strange happenings that were going on. Um, and Travis, uh, as soon as this happens and the, uh, the five of you start making plans to investigate what might be another mystery, gets a mysterious phone call and tells you he has to go take care of some things. Do, do you really have to go? You you can stay here. I mean, you can probably... That can wait till later, right? I mean, no. He's already walking away. Tra Travis, where are you going? Travis! Travis, get <coughs> he back! He starts coughing really hard and doesn't answer you because I can't make myself sound You're my ride! You drove me... <laughs> God damn oh, it. he's gone. <laughs> <clears throat> and I realize I'm probably still on FaceTime with everyone. Mm -hmm. I see Travis just walking away. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe I can call an Uber and get to you. I, I don't. Know. Yeah, uh, that that probably for the if if we still want to investigate this uh, this girl's apartment. Well, fuck yeah. All right, then then yeah, that, that'd be good. Yeah, uh, all right, I'll 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 be there in like ten minutes. Just let me and you just see her like just stuffing the rest of a very large subway sandwich into her face, and then like. Oh, I'll see you in a second. And she clans, closes the call. And anyone else is invited if if they're so inclined for some 
No, you're stuck with Sally alone. Booyah. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you don't see me tomorrow. <laughs> uh, Abby's, you can see the on the screen, the phone has been placed on a table and it's just looking up at the ceiling. And from a distance, you just hear her say, just let me know if you need me. And then hangs up the phone. All right, all right, all right. Uh, well, bye, Rex. Rex. <laughs> Rex the whole time was an animated uh, face of like Rocket Raccoon. So everything they said and stuff was in that horrible, horrible voice I won't do right now. But uh, but it was like Rocket Raccoon's face that was like obviously mapped from a camera and, and done through a rig. Um, so I'm just staring at a picture of Rocket at, Raccoon right yeah, now. And he, he like shakes his, <laughs> shakes his head and then it's like, uh, you know, rah, that horrible voice it is basically same here you know <laughs> call me if you need me <laughs> and then boop, gone i just stare at my phone look up is chaz still right there uh sure well uh can i bum a cigarette Ah, uh, dude i quit it's just really <laughs> I'm just worst. fucking with you. And he pulls out of his pocket. <laughs> All right. I hang out with Chaz until Sal gets Chaz there. don't cheat, but he does joke. <laughs> I have no response to that. Win's done. <laughs> <laughs> Five right. minutes later, Sally rolls up and, like, you see her, like, she's going to lean over the driver, like, in the back seat and just, like, start honking the horn. <laughs> hey! Hey! Uh, I see. I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. Hey! She just honks it a couple more times. <laughs> Get in the back with you. Later, dude. Yeah, peace. Oh, bye, bye chat. We'll see you tomorrow. Or will you? Uh, I don't know. You might be dead. <laughs> <laughs> How are we going? Uh, uh, we were... I was thinking we'd go investigate uh, so so uh, but talk quietly so the driver doesn't hear our planned crime uh mm. ask him to turn on some music um so uh he turns on an audiobook oh fuck <laughs> <laughs> we also kind of have to tell him where to go He's yeah just like, yeah like waiting well yeah. we should tell him to go somewhere near nearby uh here i'll just i'll give him the address of where we're going um uh, with that i think rex gave us um and I'm just like a block away or something or whatever I know that's nearby. Um, so he's not like driving us right up to the address. Okay. Um, sure. I assume it's like an apartment complex or something. That, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. If you, I mean, you could go to like the, the front of the apartment complex. You could go to probably the complex next door or down the street. There's several of them in the area. Um, so while we're, so wherever's nearby or closest, I, and I'll just tell Sal what Rex and uh, uh, I think Rex found the information. I don't think Travis really, yeah. Uh, so what Rex got us, uh, and that uh, uh, so Travis and I were gonna go before he bailed on me. Uh, we were gonna go look into uh, look yeah, through this girl's like stuff. Shit. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking. Is some sort of like spell gone wrong, or they're they're like messing with the forces of chance. I'm not big on luck. witches. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I've, I mean, I've, I feel ambivalent about them. Depends on... I know some good ones. I know some bad ones. I've killed a lot of witches in my day. I'm just, I'm just being real forthright about that. Just... Oh, okay. Well, maybe we don't kill them right off because nobody's really gotten... Well, just only if they piss me off. Well. Okay. All right. Well, I... Let's maybe set that threshold up a little bit for pissing you off and, and, and killing if we can. Okay, what's 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 my what's my what's my line? What's my bar then? How about physical harm? Alright, I'm allowed to commit physical harm no, against No, no, if they if they commit physical harm against you or me or threaten Got it. To kill, okay. Oh yeah. just 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 clarify just Let's just let's be clear. on the, the defensive yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I got you, I got you. Okay. Yeah. All right, All right. cool. Cool. Um, maybe I should. Nope. No talking. We're only going in if there's no one there. So yeah. Cool. Okay. Yeah. This will go well. Oh yeah. I'm stoked. Let's do this. 
just like starts cracking every possible bone that there is. Just all of them. Just. Hey, what book is this? <laughs> I don't think he answers you because I don't know. All right. Uh... It's boring, whatever it is. <laughs> Abelard and Heloise. <laughs> Look that one up, people. <laughs> Look it up. I love that book. Oh. I was looking for like a list of popular audiobooks with a bit's gone on too long. It won't be funny. Fifty anyway. Shades of Grey. Oh well, yep. Yeah, this shit got real it is. real quick. <laughs> he pulled out the paddle. <laughs> You know, that's really not accurate. Like the best way, if you really wanted to tie someone up more thoroughly, like there are a lot of better ways to do this. I'm just saying. What? <laughs> I mean, if they're if you're gonna talk about it, like just be factual. I think the driver's just like, uh, uh, okay. I'm gonna make sure we get there that I, well, no, I was going to say I give him a good rating for that, but then again, he's listening to a really terrible book to be listening to while driving us, <laughs> so he kind of deserves it. <laughs> I give him one star. <laughs> and no tip. That's fair. <clears throat> so you arrive at your destination. Please let this Uber ride end. <laughs> for me. Um, yeah, you, you arrive at your destination. Um, he drops you off a couple of blocks down the road at a different apartment complex that is very, very similar, uh, but the name of it is only slightly different. The paint's a slightly different color. They're all very similar. Um, uh, as soon as he drives away, I'd, I'd say, oh, all right, so ours is down that direction, just a little bit of a walk. I just didn't want to like drive right up to it in case, you know, something gets set on fire. Oh, or, no, no, cool, cool. Yeah. Plausible deniability. I like it. Smart. Yeah. So navigate us the best I can to the apartment that we're looking for. All right. You make your way down a couple of blocks into uh, through the gate into the apartment complex you are looking for. Um, wandering around for a little bit, trying to figure out the numbering conventions of the apartment because they're all different in every apartment complex for some reason. Um, Why well, is building number one next to building number eight, and then four's over there? Does so. it go like around, like like in a counterclockwise fashion? Maybe. I don't, I, I, I don't know. My guess would be six is that building. Nope, that one's eleven. There's only nine buildings, though. I don't know. I we'll mean, do we it. just start yelling for people? Yeah. Like I don't. No, no, don't yell. We're about to break into somebody's apartment. I'm yeah. Saying. <sighs> All right. So you find the building that you're looking for um, <laughs> after after a few minutes of uh, walking and uh, make your way up the stairs to the second floor to apartment. You said building six. I said second floor. Somebody say a third number. Seven. Six two seven is the apartment number. Yeah, <coughs> and uh, you're here. You're at a door that has that number on it. Um, can we tell? Are there any like lights on inside? Can we see any windows from the outside? Uh, yeah. There you can see. Um, well, I'm gonna say if you're an, in an interior hallway, probably not. Actually, it's been a long time since I lived in an apartment. <laughs> Had to think about that one. Uh, no, I'm gonna say no. There's probably some some I don't know, maybe like a, an insert at the top of the door or something. It doesn't seem like there are lights on inside. It's hard to tell. It's like noon. <laughs> oh, so we're so. in the middle of the day now. My my mind was later. Okay, probably in class. Yeah, probably in class. Probably busy. So uh... I mean, we could just check that. Is the door is the door locked? I'm gonna check. It is locked. All right. You know how to pick a lock. I don't really pick them. 
I'm I'm better suited for like like ripping it off its hinges, but I don't I don't think that's what we're we're going <sighs> for today. Well, maybe we should be a little more subtle than that. Um, I've just, I just I figured as much. I'm just yeah. I'm like those are my you know strong suits. Maybe keep an eye out. <laughs> kind of funny. Yeah. Uh, but good yeah. one. Um, eh. Yeah, keep an eye out. I'm going to work my magic on, on the lock, see if I can get it open. Oh, yeah, that was funny, too. That was yeah. good. That was nice. Yeah. Bonded. <laughs> <laughs> he says out loud. <laughs> When's that a day? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you want to try to magically open the door? Yeah. I'd knock on the door first. <laughs> okay, you knock on the door. Wait for a minute. No one opens it. Okay. Then I would like to uh, try to use magic to open the door. Okay. Uh, roll plus weird. Okay. Hey. Uh, weird. 12. Yeah, you. My hot streak is going strong. Yeah, Oops. all right. On a 10 plus, the magic works without issue. Choose your effect. I'm going to assume it's to open the door. Yes. Okay. I don't know if that's specifically something in like. The uh, it's list, not, but... but I feel like you can use a spell to unlock a door. Okay. <laughs> Especially at one of these big apartment complexes. No offense, anyone out there who lives in them, uh, they're not super secure. <laughs> really at all. Kind of frightening. Um,. But yeah, no, I I think you can do either that or you can do something that is beyond human limitations, which is give yourself the temporary ability to open locked doors. I don't know. Um, it works. I think you focus on the uh, the door handle on the deadbolt for just a moment. There's a small uh, flash of light near the door. This uh, kind of warmth coming off of it. Um, and uh, you hear a couple of clicks. Not bad, Hex. Yeah, I think that worked. Nothing exploded, so that's good. Yeah, well, Far it is know. early. All right. Uh, let me uh, just make sure we're clear here. Yeah, why don't you check just in case there's monsters yeah. or something. Yeah, sure. I'll uh, I'll open the door and uh, do a quick perimeter scan of the little apartment. Okay. You open the door. Um, it opens kind of into uh, a small living room set up with a couch tv on a sitting on a cabinet on one wall um behind that to the side there's kind of a small um round like wooden dining table with a few chairs around it um and then across from you is a kitchen and then on either side going either way um a hallway presumably off to uh two bedrooms or something else um it's clean it's it's fairly sparse um there's a couple of like posters hung up on on the walls and some mismatched furniture. Um, no people. So I guess we just need to root around, look for anything witchy. Closet, under the bed, loose floorboards. It's usually good indicators. Air vents. Oh yeah, good one. Yeah, that's where I keep. No, doesn't matter. Uh, yeah. I thought you kept it with your. Wit. Never mind. All right, uh, I'll go closet first then. I guess we investigate. Investigate a mystery. All right, let's investigate some mysteries. Should hey. we both roll or a roll and help? Uh, I will leave that up to you. Uh, How's your sharp? It's a plus I'm, sharp roll. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at it right now. It's a plus one. All right, we should probably. Uh, mine's a zero, so. Uh, okay, I'll. Uh, you want to help me out? Yeah, I'll help you out. Okay. I have a uh, win roll plus cool. There's a cat trying to get in the door here. I'm going to roll this it. and then deal with that. <laughs> That's an 11. It is an hey. 11. Uh, so your help grants Sally plus one to okay. her roll. So an extra plus one. Oh, well, I rolled a five, so that's a six. Hey. Woo! Wow, okay. Well, I, uh, I get some experience for that one. You do. <laughs> um, 
Well, okay then. Let's see. On a miss, you reveal some information to the monster or whoever you are talking to. The keeper might ask you some questions, but you have to answer. Cool. Cool. Where, uh, where's the the first place that Sally looks? Uh, in the closet. In uh, in the bedroom. In the closet bedroom. in the bedroom. Yep. All right. Looking so for old witchy shiny things. Okay. You like cool. that? Uh, yeah. So, uh, so uh, when you see Sally kind of head off down um, the closest hallway to her, um, down this hallway there is a um, a small bathroom to one side and then a bedroom um she immediately goes in kind of throwing the door open um and starts rifling through the closet um it's again it's sort of what you would expect it's pretty sparse Uh, there's some mismatched furniture a bed and um, a dresser and like a small vanity off to one side um some some posters uh, hung up on the wall um there's a lot of clothes a lot of shoes um there is some stuff sally think in the closet that has yet to be unpacked like in one side of the closet there's just like a couple of boxes that have been like shoved into the corner um probably with winter clothes in them uh that have no reason to be unpacked in uh, september in georgia um you yeah there's uh there's a couple of other boxes kind of up high on a shelf it looks just like um uh, mementos and just general things um nothing immediately that catches your eye as a as particularly witchy um if anything this girl seems very average and regular mm. regular look under the bed uh there's a large a clear plastic tub under there that's just packed with those like small um, size bags of potato chips. Why the fuck she have those so many potato chips? Uh, sorority event? Uh. Kleptomaniac? Potato chip addiction? I don't know. Alright, whatever. Shove it back under there. Uh, starts stomping around for like hollow spots in the floor. Okay, <laughs> what kind of floor is? It? I should say it's uh, fucking it's, carpet. It's, then it's maybe carpet. Not, but... <laughs> okay, never mind. Never mind. We're good. They're on the second floor, so <laughs> they got the carpet. Um, okay, yeah, it's 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 carpeted. Um, so I'm gonna stomp around. Hopefully, yeah. the neighbors downstairs aren't home. But... Yeah, we'll see. Uh, <laughs> and I guess uh, air vents then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, you uh, go over there. Is sort of one vent uh, low on one of the walls. Um, it's screwed onto the wall. If that means anything to either of you. I she got a toolkit somewhere. You got a toolkit somewhere. Uh, I don't. Um, I look around for one. I could magic it off, but that seems a little unnecessary. I'm not gonna lie. Be faster. Yeah, a little, 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 little unnecessary. Yeah, I'm no, sure no, she's I'll got be... like a like a a, a flathead around here somewhere. You know? Nah, no, nah, it's gonna take too long. I'll just do it this way. I'm gonna go look for a screwdriver. Uh, <laughs> okay. When I come back, if <laughs> this is still on the wall, I'm gonna unscrew it. If it's not, I'm gonna use it on you. Okay? Okay. Great. Uh, I'm gonna go look in the living room for a screwdriver. <laughs> Sally goes to look for a screwdriver. Um, when you want to use magic, I'm just I'm just gonna do it this way. It's gonna be faster. <laughs> I'm looking at. Hang on. Okay. Leaving right. Sally with a screwdriver and nothing to unscrew. Just saying. And this is your uh, temptation, right? I think so. Use, Use magic to do what you could do without it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You. I'm trying to decide if you need to roll for this. I mean, it could go really bad. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah, roll to use magic. All right. Again, um, I got a plus one because I used magic before, mm-hmm. and that's a ten. 
Yeah, it works. Nailing it. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're unscrewing it, but. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, yeah, don't. That wasn't funny to laugh at that. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so Sally, uh, you go and rummage around um, in the uh, kitchen in that drawer that everybody has where they just put all of their stuff if they don't know what to do with it, but it needs to be in a drawer. Um, you find a couple of a couple of screwdrivers. Um, no, you find one of those screwdrivers that has the um, like magnetic ends that you can switch out. That's in oh, a little hey. box that her dad probably got her before she went to college. Yeah. I'll bring that back. Okay. All right. All right, we got a couple different objects. What did I <laughs> just tell you? It's like holding the grate in his hands. It's what? She just like takes out the screwdriver. Whoa, 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 whoa. You gotta be careful with that shit. I'm serious. I mean, it was easy. Been... Yeah, this time. And then it gets harder and harder not to do the easy thing. I've been around. I know this shit, okay? Just ease up, all right? All right, all right, all right, all right. Just she used to sticks. doing these she sorts of- She sticks a screwdriver kit in her pocket. Uh, okay. Uh, just used to doing these sorts of things with Travis, and he sort of lacks it when I'm- Anyway, I can't see in there. It's kind of high up, but yeah, let me look. She will literally like do one of these like American Ninja Warrior things and just like pull herself up just with like these fingers and her forearms and, and check in and see. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, you look in the vent. Um, it's pretty dusty in there. Um, probably some uh, some animal hair of some kind and just general dust and things that will make you sneeze um, but nothing terrifying or or witchy or uh, out of the ordinary for an airman anything? Nah. No. squat damn <sighs> I really thought we'd find something here it seemed too much of a coincidence that these two things connected and Maybe there's someone else. Maybe. I mean, like the the point seemed to be the mm -hmm. roommate, but yeah. Maybe maybe there's another connection here that we're not seeing. Yeah. We should go meet up with uh, Abby and maybe get Rex and two of them brainiacs might be able to figure something out. Connection that we yeah. missed. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna take my stolen screwdrivers out and start putting it back I in. I could. I. No. All right. All right. Uh, as uh, as Sally is putting the uh, the cover back on the vent, um, when from behind you, um, you hear the door uh, that you left partially open start uh, to creak a little bit. Oh, uh, when. So the the doors behind us, like the door mm -hmm. directly behind us into the room. Yeah, is like opening. the bedroom door. When just drops to the floor on the other side of the bed. <laughs> <laughs> I will like jump into the open closet as quietly as possible. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't. I don't even know what to make you guys roll for anymore. Yeah, you just do this. So in a panic, um, Sally dives towards the open closet and went across the room, hiding behind the bed um, as the door, uh, which was uh, partially open, sort of creaks uh, just a little bit more. And then there's silence. Um, and then after a... Are either of you looking out into the room or are you yeah, just hiding? Yeah, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of <laughs> slide myself underneath the bed, like on the, between the boxes of, of potato chips and like I'm looking okay. out at like the feet of whoever's in to see who. Okay. Um, yeah, when you uh, you kind of shuffle under the bed and uh, pushing the uh, the bin aside, you kind of look and you, uh, you don't see any feet, um, but after a second you do hear this soft... Uh, thud like, th like something landing on the ground um, and you see a um, a small book like a planner uh, sort of hit the carpet across the room I uh I like can I see like towards the closet and see where Sally is hiding 
Uh, I think you, <laughs> you could probably see like Sally's feet <laughs> behind some <laughs> some clothes that are hanging in there. Yeah. I guess I wait a second. <laughs> if I don't see any feet, then I I come out. Okay, you come out. Um, and uh, there there are no people in the room. Staring at you from across the room, sitting on the vanity, is a, a cat that kind of like looks at you and cocks its head. Sal. Yeah. Then we clear. Yeah. Um, I think it was just a cat. Cat, huh? What kind of cat? She's still staying in the closet. She's not coming out. <laughs> I mean, it's it's right there. It hasn't fired any lasers at me or anything. If you're worried, it's it seems just familiars, man. I'm not fucking with that. What's it look like? What's it look like? Uh, it is a. A little um, fluffy ragdoll cat with long hair. It doesn't look like any familiar I've, I've ever seen. You'd be surprised. And when, as it's, it looks at you, and then it um, kind of starts looking around at the other stuff that's sitting on the little vanity, um, and then it goes over to a cup that's got some like pens and stuff in it, and then it looks up at you <laughs> and just starts like slowly moving it. With its paw, yes. <laughs> was that was that planner? Do I remember if that planner was on the vanity or on the dresser uh, when we were in the room? Uh, yeah, probably. Okay. Yeah, <clears throat> cats are dicks. It just pushes the pens over onto the ground. I mean, it could be a familiar. Um, I don't know many ways to test that. She'll slowly come out of the closet. Look at the cat. Uh, I think it sees you, and it kind of squints and like backs up, and it starts to like. Uh... That's pretty normal. Must be a cat. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, We should probably go. I don't think there's anything here. What's that? A little book? A planner? Um, I don't know. I'll pick it up off the ground. I would be a huge invasion of privacy to read this. Open the one. fucking book. Yeah. Start flipping through it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you start flipping through it. Um, it's it's your pretty standard day planner um, with sort of a monthly calendar in the front that's got some different stickers on it. It's got birthdays uh, marked off and, uh, you know, winter break and Thanksgiving and all of that stuff later on in the year. No coven um, meetings. Yeah, I was going to ask the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, on one page, there's just a giant pentagram. No. <laughs> oh, that would be convenient, but That'd unfortunately. No, um, you do flip through. Um, you can flip through to this uh, week that you are in. Um, it's There's not a whole lot of stuff marked off again. She's got like um, a couple of birthdays. There's like a some sort of like film screening next week that she's going to um on let's see i don't remember what day i said it is it's tuesday and that means tomorrow's wednesday um and tomorrow she has a, a meeting marked at uh, 4 30 p.m and it's got um a little sticker of like she's got all these little like coordinated stickers, I guess. I don't know. It's something I wish that I had when I was <laughs> planning all of my things. Oh, she's got a little sticker um, that's shaped like a book, and next to it, it says 5.30 uh, p.m. Uh, literary ladies. That's promising. <laughs> literary ladies. Yeah, we should definitely... I mean, I well, probably I mean, couldn't... There are plenty of covens out there that disguise themselves as book clubs. Book clubs, right. Just throwing it out there. That's promising. I take a picture of the this like month of the planner with my Oh phone. yeah, shit. The phone thing. Yeah. Uh I'm just I'm gonna start filming like an entire layout of the bedroom for Rexy and the cat. I'm gonna zoom in real close on the cat. <laughs> the cat I think is sort of taken to uh following Win around the room. Um and is like rubbing up against your legs. It's a it's a um yeah, it's a little like ginger 
fluffy guy. Um, <clears throat> we should probably go. Are you allergic to cats? Yeah, yeah, we should go. You're you, you you're a witch, and you're allergic to cats. You know, it's not. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> when from down below you, you hear a meow as the cat has like start laying on its side and is like uh pulling at the the shoestring on your Sperry's that you're definitely wearing. You can't tell me you're not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, okay, yeah. God. It might be a vampire too. It doesn't like knots. All right. Do we have everything we need here? Can we go? We need to tell the rest. Yeah, of yeah, right. It's fine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm tempted to just take some potato chips to piss somebody off, but I won't. All right. Let's go. I am taking the screwdrivers though. Fine. I can't stop you really. So. <laughs> yeah, it'd be really great. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right. Uh, so you uh, start to make your way out of the apartment. Um, the cat really doesn't want you to leave when it's very sad at the loss I, of his new friend. I don't know why they like me so much. <laughs> um, but yeah, you, uh, you make your way sort of quickly out of the apartment and out of the complex. We should go meet up with... Uh, with Abby and yeah, I'm already texting like video to Raxi. All yeah. right, where are we mean? Uh, I just, I guess I just text Abby and say, "Your place?" Question mark. Sal's with me. Got info. Sure. Question mark. Those were all separate text messages too. Uh <laughs> It's one of those people. Yeah. yeah, he gets a text message back that says just like, sure? Why? Question mark? Witches. Maybe. <laughs> Ping, witches. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Ping, maybe. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. Popcorn? Snacks? <laughs> uh. Postmates. <laughs> Mansion. Taco Bell. What Gross. the fuck are y'all saying? Are we <laughs> <laughs> Talking in text messages threads is the best thing. <laughs> <laughs> you just get a gross and that that's the last thing to text. Come here, my little familiar. I guess we're supposed to bring food to these meetings now? I don't know. Oh, well, yeah, Abby's vegetarian, though, so you gotta... I it's mean, Taco Bell's lots she of vegetarian that, actually, yeah, options. So, yeah, yeah she's, she's vegan, so you gotta... Oh. You gotta be careful about that. Okay, I'd stop and get some chips. You'd be surprised, though. Like, a lot of junk food's actually vegan. Like, Skittles, vegan. Who knew? Really? Um Yeah. Sure. I'll take your word for it. All right. Well, uh, let's, uh, let's uh, go get snacks, and we'll do this. All right. All right. You go get snacks. <laughs> and then uh, show up, I, I guess, Ubering again. Yes. So yeah. we're, we're going we're gonna to pick up some Swedish fish. Uh, 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 Takis. She, those are those are for Sally. Uh, let's see. Uh, some Nutter Butters, vegan. Um, and uh, oh uh, yeah, soft pretzel bites. Yeah, this is happening. All of those things. Okay. Yes. You do yeah. this thing, mm -hmm. and uh, you show up um a little bit later. To... I'm sorry, are you taking an Uber to my secret hideout? <laughs> <laughs> we'll stop, like, just like, randomly up the road, like, a half mile, and we'll walk. No, we take it directly to the <laughs> secret hideout. It's on this cliff back here, I try, but behind the waterfall. <laughs> um, <laughs> what the fuck? 
There's a huge <laughs> mansion. The keeps going. It's a huge <laughs> mansion. You could go to the mansion if nothing else. The waterfall. It'll be fine. You just—you really got to gun it to hit the hit the ramp here. Um, <laughs> and hail damage before. I think it'll cover it. <laughs> well, no, my favorite thing that's ever happened to the game is. Wait, are you taking an Uber to my secret island? <laughs> we need to though, and then we can introduce the Uber driver NPC as our designated driver for the game, <laughs> like Deadpool driver. style. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my god. So the the um the Uber shows up. Um, and who should be driving it but Chaz? <laughs> oh, Jesus. No, no, no. <laughs> All right. I know I don't want Chaz to know about the secret <laughs> bat cave. Just asking to take us to the mansion next door, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You, uh. Yep, you Sour get Skittles. Sour Skittles are vegan. Sour skills are good. But are the are the regular ones vegan or, or just no, the, because gelatin. Yeah. The the new ones, the new Skittles that are coming out are vegan. Yeah. I just looked them up because I was like, they can't be. I knew there, there was one. There was one kind. I, I, I have tons of vegan friends. I'm just like yeah, gelatin and the yellow number five. <laughs> yeah. They switched the yellow number five and they're switching whatever the formula is. I didn't read the article, I just looked it up. Because yes. Rex would. Um, of course. As you're standing in the candy aisle, Sally, you get a text. You get several texts from Rex about actually. <laughs> Is he just <laughs> always listening to us? Yeah. Oh. You surprised? You you've let given him access to your phone. Like they they, they have everything. Yeah, yeah. Eh. I need to start leaving my phone outside of my room. Anyway, let's let's grab snacks. Let's do this. Okay. All right, and you Uber to nearby. Yeah, like a yeah. quarter mile away from the mansion. Sure, we'll, we'll walk get in. Still abandoned okay. lot <laughs> with snacks. What is Abby? What is what is nearby your mansion? Um, well, they could come to the house. Oh, but they're not. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> um, uh, I told them. This. There's probably a gas station close. Um, you know, yeah. it's kind of like a back road that leads to the actual waterfall that splits situation. Uh, and then on top of the cliff is the mansion. Okay, so you get an Uber, um, have them take you to a gas station to pick up a bunch of snacks and then have them subsequently a few minutes later drop you off at another gas station. Yeah. Yes. That's exactly yeah. what happened. No one in this town is going to think you've committed a crime today. <laughs> No, not at all. <laughs> at all. What did you roll in your investigative mystery? Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> You've revealed or, some things to the Uber driver. <laughs> or they're really high and they're like, they didn't have raspberry zingers, man. <laughs> You're going to the next gas. <laughs> <going on. laughs> raspberry I zingers. Could also be it. I need them right okay. now. Okay. <laughs> so these motherfuckers um, walk the quarter of a mile or so to your front door, I guess. Or to the entrance to the where entrance you guys go. Entrance you're in. You go to the cave. You're there. You, you're buzzed in. You hear a buzzing, <laughs> and then the the waterfall splits, allows you to walk in. She rides a Vespa. So it has to split. <laughs> Pizza delivery. It's very cool. Uh, Abby is. Um, she's in like shorts and like a long uh, off the shoulder sweatshirt like I'm currently wearing. Uh, she's got her hair in her braids and uh, she's currently um, got like her glasses on but also like a big visor over so that she can see better and she's working on um, it looks like uh, maybe dental floss or like uh, sutures or something and she's infusing it with like a magical something. No more so she just kind of puts not. her hand up. <laughs> what? Never mind. Uh, we have uh, vegan snacks. Where, where do you where do you want them? She pops the hood up and she looks over at you guys and she's like, "What do you? Why do you bring Skittles? They're vegan. The new formula, anyway." I was asking if you guys wanted snacks. Oh. Uh, because snacks I, here? Oh shit. Okay. I mean, I can have them make anything pretty much. Oh. <laughs> nah, nah, I won't. I won't do that to you. I'm good with these. Thanks, though. Um, so what's going on? Uh, sort of a 
long. You you caught some of it from our conversation earlier. Yeah, you went to the the girl's house. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, nothing there, but mm-hmm. it looks like they're having a uh, a book club thing tomorrow night. Literary ladies. What book are they reading? I don't know. Doesn't what say. Didn't say. Hmm. Um, where? I have a picture of the planner. I didn't write it down though. Uh, Just send me the picture. All right. <laughs> she sits down at her computer, setting aside the the project she was working on, and like there's like six monitors and a bunch of things pop up as she logs in and. <laughs> She like quickly just minimizes everything quick enough for nobody to see, and then, and then she pulls up the chat window. Was it quick enough though? Did we see anything? She, Did we see anything? Probably. <laughs> there was one shirtless picture of a man that has been bandaged, and like chat windows. Okay. Okay. Um. So why are we meeting now? Uh, figured come up with a game plan and I was bored. Um, okay. Uh, well, why don't we just one of us go to the meeting tomorrow? Yeah. I think that might be more your department. I mean, I could go, but the I get abusive. that's a really nice way of putting it. Yeah. Uh, that just that just I was just gonna say I might punch people. So uh but yeah, uh you you just might be better suited for a task like that. Yeah. You know? And I would I think it's ladies only, so Um, yeah, probably. Yeah. Uh well I need to know what book they were reading and did, um she's did, gonna Google search this uh literary club and see if she can find if they have like a Facebook group or something. Okay. Uh yeah, sure. They have a they have a Facebook page. Um, it is. Uh, I'd forgot the word I was gonna use. It totally just went out of my mind. Um, but yes, there is a, a literary ladies Facebook page that is connected to uh, the university campus. Um, there are not a lot of posts, um, but uh, the most recent one is sort of a reminder um, that they are meeting they've booked out a a study room in the library Mm -hmm. on campus uh tomorrow at i forgot what time i said what time did i say uh you said 4 30 and then you said 5 30. i'm gonna say 5 30. okay Uh, (laughs) it seems reasonable Mm -hmm. um yes i'm gonna say wednesday evening at 5 30. um the reminder for the book that they are reading this week. They're reading Becoming by Michelle Obama. Oh, okay. Guess I could pump that out tonight. It's pretty okay. good. Um, anything else? Uh, no, I just thought, I didn't know if you had looked into any of this. Does this look like a familiar stuff? to you? Yeah. Uh, that looks like a cat i mean it's fucking cute but like familiar maybe um i don't i don't know i've never met a familiar i guess it's not what mine looks like but you have a familiar what's yours look like uh it's darker than that doesn't really look like a cat either uh kind of hard to explain okay just not, just not worry about it. So probably just cute, cute ass cat. Probably. Mm. All right. Um. Uh. When while you're here, I'm trying to um, trying to infuse healing magic and sutures so that it heals wounds faster. Do you have any input on that? Hmm. Uh. I don't know. Healing was never really my thing. Imagine that. That's a lot of shade you're throwing my way right now. This uh, guy thought that instead of finding a screwdriver, it would be really necessary to open a vent. Four screws. Just four. Just four. It wasn't even hard. Instead, throw some magic on it. It'll be fine. You can use a quarter. Who carries change? 
I didn't even think about it, honestly. I mean, I probably could have used my fingernail, come to think of it, but anyway. I mean, it was just as easy for me just to say a few words. and. Yeah, this time I didn't break my arm, though. Or I smashed my head against the wall. There's no one else in the room. Except the cat, I guess. I'm keeping the screwdriver around. Did you steal her screwdriver? Maybe. Yes. Okay. If it, if it prevents this one from just like th throwing magic at the wall every time he needs to do something, then yeah, I stole a screwdriver, okay? Yeah, um, okay. <laughs> um. And start angrily eating Skittles. Do you guys want to watch a movie or something? Yeah, what do you got? Sure. sure. I mean, Netflix. Hulu, Amazon. I'm a I fan of period pieces. Yeah. It's would, also Abby, a... would Abby have crunchy roll? Uh, no, I don't think so. She's not that kind of nerd. All right. Plus, she doesn't have time for all that. I know. Just check it. <laughs> it's also a new season of the Great British Baking Show. So. Oh right. yeah. yeah. Well, um. The TV's there, the controller. Um, I'm gonna go read. Alright, cool. Just um don't do she kind of looks at Wynn. Just don't touch any of my stuff. Uh do you do you want me to look at it or see what I can do or uh well if you don't know anything about healing magic, I don't know how much. I mean I wouldn't say I don't know anything, I just not really my specialty. Okay, well yeah, if you wanna take a look. Sure. Sally's texting Rax like, don't know if we're actually doing anything, but come over, we're watching a movie. And Rexy's like, <laughs> I guess it'd be like, over to a secret hideout I've never been to? Question mark. Oh, yeah. Hey, can Rex come over? Why? I just watch a movie. <laughs> I figured this is like um, our our hangout, our our secret base now. This, I'm sorry, I I like you guys, but we are not a group. This is my home, oh. and Travis's home, and I, I mean, I I don't mind working with you guys on stuff, but I don't. You know. No, 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 that's cool. That's cool. All right. I'm sorry, didn't mean to impose. Uh, we'll I mean, we can, we can head we'll out. Yeah, I mean, it's, we'll, it's cool. We'll I didn't want to. Wanna... It. I've okay. got an flip back at my place anyway. We can go hang out at the house or something. Yeah. Cool. Okay, bye. Just like <laughs> grabs the snacks. Because <laughs> he takes taking these with me. Oh, LD. It was beautiful. <laughs> Just invite people over to my house. So good. Just don't get there. Just not yet. Particularly after the Uber thing. <laughs> this is beautiful. This is so perfect. <laughs> Whew. Oh my god. Abby's got a book to read. Cool. I go get caught up on GBBO. Uh, this, the whole time after the, the video came, Rexy is doing his paranoid, you know, every, every cell, everything frame of the film throughout the, 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 the little short video, like, Okay, is there anything that may have been missed? You know, markings, slight different colors in stuff, uh, something disarray, something put out of the out of its place. You know, anything that that works on a conspiracy mind. Also, I need to know: is this a new mystery? Do I need to roll my uh, connect the dots again? Uh, yeah, let's do that now. All right, we shall do that. Okay. I gotta remember 
That is a sharp roll. Spit. 13. All right. Yeah. That's super high. Mm -hmm. <coughs> um, let's see. Hold so three. You hold three, and then during the mystery, you can spend them one for one to ask questions, right? Yep. Great. So you have three of those. That is a lot. Excellent. Yes. Very good. Um, so, yeah. Um, Rex, so you are uh, checking out the... Uh, the video and the, the photos and everything that uh, that Sally has sent you. Um, I'm gonna have you. Let's see. I'm gonna have you also roll to investigate a mystery. Okay. Uh, and that is also sharp. Yes. All right. Ten. Awesome. Uh, yeah. So. Uh, regarding the video, let's see. I don't know her say if any of the questions fit with the scenario. Um, well, how how about does does the video clear this person of being other anything other than a victim? Is that a viable question or not? Uh, yeah, I think that's a viable question. Um, okay. so let's see. Uh. Okay, yeah, I think you, you roll a 10. I think you noticed something that um, Sally did not. Um, I think you are kind of flipping through the <coughs> uh, the video frame by frame, um, kind of on first pass, nothing looks out of place. Um, so you start focusing in on um, the different pieces that are in the room, the, uh, the desk, the vanity that is sort of over here, the dresser um the bed frame um and i think when you get to the uh the bed frame most of it is is covered up by this um this comforter that she's got kind of strewn across the bed um but a uh, part of the uh like the bottom of one of the like faux wood legs is exposed um and on just as uh, the camera kind of passes by the end of the bed. I think you can see um, the bottom of one of the legs has something carved into it. All right. Um, at that point, uh, Rexy is probably gnawing on a 7-Eleven burrito that he cooked or they cooked on uh, on top of an o a purposefully overheating computer and had to like rotate it every couple minutes. Um, yeah, and uh, and so uh, then. It pops up on uh, on both Abby and uh, Wynn's phones. As does this mean anything? And he he's tried to, or they've tried to, like you know, digitize it and make it as clear as possible, and you know. Okay. Right, what does it look like? I read. I was reading reviews for the book. <laughs> I didn't say. Um, so you didn't Amazing. miss anything. <laughs> <laughs> um, very, very good timing. Uh, yeah, you both received this uh, this picture. It's it's clear enough that I think you can sort of get the general idea. But I think uh, both of you, being pretty versed in magic, um, recognize this. It is um, especially Abby by your standards. I think it is uh, childish at best. Um, it is a very, very sort of simple. Uh, version of something much more uh, complex, but it is it is kind of a, a very pared down, like essential um, carving of a like a protection sigil. Uh, Abby's gonna send a text back. That's just where did you find this? Boop. Uh, video footage leg of the bed from whatever the girl's name was her room looks like a poorly drawn protection sigil and shoulder emoji like it's all <laughs> I got <laughs> <laughs> is 
This book is boring, period. <laughs> <laughs> Gif of mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, text on the thread. So really bad witch. Would it get the job done, DM? GM? Uh it it would against your sort of very basic mm-hmm. um basic things. It would probably protect the at least the person who lives in the room um, from any kind of minor hexes or curses or anything like that. It's it's not gonna serious stuff will get past it. Um but uh cool. but your your minor stuff it would it yeah. would work on. She'll still just text back, uh or a new one. Hmm. Book club <laughs> uh when can you check Beep, 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 beep. Any of your witchy contacts in quotes to see if they know this person? Uh, the typing dots are last for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> and they stop. And they just get, yeah. <laughs> it's talking to me. <laughs> I'm GB in real life. <laughs> <laughs> oh man cool okay perfect what's your next move text a picture of that to my mom okay but do you say anything uh hey mom Uh, everything's going great. School's going well. Miss you, you guys. Okay. Hey, have you ever seen this before? Can you give me a a brief but as much or a little detail as you want about the nature of your relationship with your mom? Yeah, so uh, my mom, Cynthia Crowley, mm-hmm. uh, is the she's she's the one who taught when yes magic and uh, they they live in they live in savannah right yes they do um i think she has a he has they have a good relationship um she pushed him to study and take magic a little more seriously than he has um so that he can take her place in the order uh one day um so I think they have a, they have a good relationship. I don't think okay. it's, I think it's only strained for the lack of Wynn's uh, motivation. He doesn't text her enough. Yeah, I mean the same the same sort of normal college student things like you don't text your parents enough and they, uh, yeah, don't keep them updated in what's going on. Okay. Yeah, um, I think you get uh, after after a couple of minutes you get. Uh, a couple of texts back from her um, one of them insinuating that you could send more than one text saying hi and then maybe ask her for something um, with a little winking emoji it, no the little emoji with all the hearts around it um, so she texts like my mom does yeah I'm making her text like your mom <laughs> um, and then uh, she <coughs> um texts you again and says yeah I mean she's seen it before it looks like a very um, essential an essentialist um, a very sort of uh, pared down bare bones uh, version of um, some old protection sigil she says that it's pretty standard um, across uh, practitioners of Magic, especially of your type, so it's it's like a cantrips. Uh, I think I'd text her and be like, "In it, that in that game that some of your friends like, honey." Uh, <laughs> I don't play that game anymore. Mom, um, uh, I have friends now. Uh, 
this is paining me to say I'm disassociating myself so bad <laughs> um, oh no I broke him uh, he says do you know if uh, I don't remember it's been a very busy semester are there any chapters of the Silver Star here in uh, I don't remember the name of the town we're in <laughs> cedar grove who was that <laughs> uh, uh she says no uh not that not that she's aware of all right thanks ma you're welcome with the little heart but it's like got other hearts inside it <laughs> just text abby back yeah just bad <coughs> magic Cool. Nothing special about it. Book was interesting. I guess. <laughs> You're already done? It's 400 pages. You're already done? Dot, dot, dot. Yes. <laughs> okay. He's going nuts. <laughs> He's just yelling. I'm running Aww. back. <laughs> Mom! <laughs> Mom! <laughs> Mom! He's it. playing with himself too, so he's just like. <laughs> I'm too cute. Okay. So, any and all uh, next moves for the, at this point, evening, probably. All right, we're waiting for tomorrow. Uh, Sally's gonna go work at the bar, but it's gonna like be extremely intrusive on listening into people's conversations to see if anyone's talking about witchy shit. Okay, okay. Let's see. Rex will be checking social medias, same kind of stuff, the campus rumors with okay. that kind of filters, like spooky, creepy, weird, you know. <laughs> Spoopy. Um. Spoopy. Abby's researching a uh, chupacabra skull that she was given. Sweet. Cool. Uh, Told you they were real. Um. Uh, I think Gwen's going to summon his familiar again. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll get to that in a second. All right. Um, yeah, those of you that are uh researching things oh uh, let's one more again investigate a mystery it's hard being a nut job i must have went down a weird rabbit hole i rolled a six Burr. i'll take it <laughs> rexy almost never fails so you Rex, there is like an hour there where you get just stuck in a loop. You're not even sure why it's just like so visually fascinating to you, but you get stuck in a loop of just watching different versions of the gif of that CW guy with the pumpkin head doing the different dances. Um, it connects somehow. <laughs> it's been like an hour no. and you're like, the messages. For once, Rex is like, okay, maybe this has nothing to do with anything. <laughs> All right, awesome. <laughs> um, I, I think you do, I mean, I you do find a lot of stuff that is sort of tagged that way. Um, you are you are sort of getting into September on the internet. Um, and well, we're all- I, I was narrowed down to the college. Okay, like, cool. Like those in the <laughs> class and those in the swim team, that kind of stuff. Okay, so. yeah, I, I think, um, well, pumpkin spice latte is back. So there's that. Um, Wait. There are, uh, there's uh, some stuff starting to roll out about the different like Halloween parties that are going to be happening. Um, you've heard a couple of times about this event that Wynn and his uh, fraternity house are, are helping to put on, which we are going to have to address at some point, Sean, since you brought that into existence um, <laughs> in oh, like shit. the first episode, <laughs> <laughs> like, like a long time ago. Talk about it. It's real. It's like <laughs> it's real making time. up a website on national television. Then you have to buy that shit and make it real. It's, like, <laughs> it's real. Um, yeah. So I think uh, even sort of narrowing it down, it is a lot to 
okay. sift through for you. Um, so waste I... my night, basically. Pretty much. I don't. I don't want to say you find nothing, but um, I, I think you. I think you almost find too much um, okay. with with your with your parameters, and you're having a, a hard time narrowing it down. Yeah. Um, now, in in this, like in, I mean, in Dungeon World or Apocalypse World, I failed. Does that give you moves? And mm -hmm. is it just something we don't know about yet? <laughs> okay, great. Lucky me. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I love you. <laughs> okay. I did it too. I totally like tipped off the witch, whatever. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Oh, okay. you do get an XP though for failing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. There is that. Um, Sally. Mm -hmm. You are eavesdropping. Yep. I'm gonna have you also Hello. roll. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have you also roll to yes. investigate some Miss Tilly. Okay. And that's plus sharp? Yes. Okay. Okay, this is a nine. Okay. Um, so that would typically be a hold one, I think. So you would get one question. Um, one question. If you have one general question or one question from that list, otherwise I can just give you one thing that you learn. Um, Fast and loose with the rules. Yeah, just, just, just something, <clears throat> anything I pick up on from listening to college students at a bar. Okay. Um, let's see, uh, you, um, hmm. okay, uh, you, I think you have been at work for, um, uh, a few hours at, at this point, it's sort of getting late into the evening, things are, uh, picking up because, what day is it? Tuesday. Tuesday. It was Taco Tuesday, and now we're in the aftermath of Taco Tuesday. Um, and so everybody's kind of rolling into the- Nine and cent tacos. I mean, come on. <laughs> everybody's kind of rolling everybody into here. the bars um, for more margaritas. Um, and uh, I think uh, a little bit earlier in the evening, uh, sorry, um, there, there was a, a one point in which you heard police sirens uh, going down the street outside the bar, um, which again is not anything super strange. Um, however, they did seem to be stopping sort of close by to you. Um, nothing very exciting happened in the immediate aftermath, but I think uh, later on there are a couple of people that come in um, and are kind of standing around the bar talking about what happened. Um, you get some brief details uh, about a girl uh, whose name is mentioned a couple of times in the conversation named Pamela Frisch. Um, you don't learn much about uh, her other than she seems to be, or um, as this conversation is going, have been um, a member of the student government organization um, but a tip was called in to uh, the the local police department. Um, she was pulled over about a block down from your bar and had her car searched uh, thanks to an anonymous tip. Um, and in it, uh, they found several bank deposit bags uh, full of money that apparently had gone missing from this uh, this organization on campus and never made it to the bank. Okay. So not only is she probably not in student government anymore, she's probably been arrested. Okay. Cool. Be the case. So yeah, and so there is some uh, some gossip happening uh, around that um, about her, about how she was in this organization and the money had gone missing, and that she was like, you know, oh, she was the one um, leading the charge to find the culprit. And then this anonymous tip comes in; they find the money in her car. Interesting. Cool. I'll shoot that out in the text thread. A student government person was looking for some stolen money. They ended up finding it in her car. 
Could be nothing. Probably something. Well, I'll work up a profile cool. later. He <laughs> put it. <laughs> What what do you got going on that's so important right now, Rexy? <laughs> I, they, I'm on to something. <laughs> they, yeah, yeah. Like, deep. I mean, deep. I'll just that in deep, very deep. <laughs> and then you back up back to the emoji. <laughs> nah, all net stuff. Thanks, Sal. Right. Hug, hugs emoji. <laughs> I got you. I got you. All right, that's that's me then. Cool. All right. Uh, Abby, you have finished the book? Yep. And are doing some research on your chupacabra. Yes. Skull. Just categorizing things, uh, seeing if there are any uh, abnormal, like, abnormal things for it, if it phases or something. Okay, Ma magic shit mixed with science shit. I'm gonna keep keep that in mind. <laughs> or later. Okay. <laughs> For sure. Okay. Um, and when you want to summon her from earlier. Yes. Sorry, I was looking at your rote. Um, yes, please, uh, please do roll. Or to attempt your magic. Okay. That was almost very bad. <coughs> uh, so it's a seven. Okay. Um. Okay. The magic bindings are weakened. The creature asks for something in return. Usually steering its master towards the foundations. Okay. Um. So you perform your ritual. Um, yeah. I'm so assuming taking, one taking harm. the harm yourself. Okay. Um, and uh, your little bub uh, in a uh, small, uh, these small wisps of shadow um, appears before you. Uh... I have a, uh, I have a job for you. Um, how's it going? Everything, everything, all right. Uh, uh, we, just, we never really just like talk anymore. Do we decide that he doesn't talk? Uh, no. Does he talk? He does. He, no, he does talk. Okay, I can remember. He had a ridiculous, like, high pitched voice though. I don't remember doing this. Did I do this? Yeah. Oh gosh. Uh, what did he sound like? Mm. It was probably like this. Yeah, I think that, was, that sounds about right. Um, fine. All right. Uh, how are you? Fine. Anyway, uh, there's something going on on, on campus right now. I need your help figuring out what it is. Uh, can't be seen though, okay? Huh. There is a, uh, a a girl who lives at uh, this address. At, like, I guess I take out a map or something and I point to it. Uh, the room number is six two seven, or the the apartment number six two seven. She lives on the room on the right. Okay. I need you okay. to, to follow her for a while. See what she gets up to. Okay. How long is a while? Uh, follow her for the next uh, 24 hours. How about that? Okay, okay, okay. Um... Mm. Mm. That's going to take a lot of energy. 
okay. I mean, I, I gave you my offering. I mean, what else do you need? Mm, probably another one in 12 hours. <sighs> All right. Hey, I don't make the rules. Yeah, oh no. All right. 12 I'll hours. Be back. Okay. Nobody can see you. Well, that's factually not true. <laughs> Make sure nobody sees you. <laughs> Get in the shadow, you just see this little grin. Little white teeth. <laughs> All right, go. L Lewis Carroll was a witch. Just throwing it out there. Anyway. <laughs> okay, bye. I know, Mom. I need to take better command of my familiars and you know, be more authoritative. Whatever. I go to bed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You go to bed. Um, and as uh, you go to sleep, um, Abby continues into the night conducting her research. And Sally listens from her gossip and Rex tries to pull themselves out of uh, their their YouTube <laughs> rabbit hole that they have found themselves in. Um, let's go ahead and take a quick break and we'll pick up uh, here in just a few minutes with what you guys want to do tomorrow until you send one of you to this book club meeting. Alright, we'll be back in just a moment. Bye! And welcome back, Internet. Thank you for hanging with us during our break while we refreshed our drinks, our snacks, and ourselves. And also our characters a bit, as they all, most of them probably have gone to sleep at this point. Um, and uh, we will, unless there's anything else anyone would like to accomplish, we'll cut to the next day. A Wednesday here in Cedar Grove, Georgia. The sun rising hot in the east as you all awake and accomplish uh, whatever it is you would like to accomplish today, which you can tell me about now. And if there's nothing, then we can cut to about 5 p.m. <laughs> so you've got a whole day ahead of you, presumably for some of you of classes and things that you should be doing. Um, Rexy is gonna start working on uh, weird sciencing their motorcycle. Ooh. Uh, they're gonna try to make it an electric motorcycle with uh, the Tesla uh, ACDC conversion engine. So it's really silent and really efficient. Um, but uh, that may mean if it takes longer than, than necessary, Poor Rexy won't have a vehicle. Have to figure something else out. <laughs> and Rex going into Ubers would just be creepy and weird. You can borrow Sally's. It's fine. Mm. All right. Uh, that sounds really interesting. Let's do that. So uh, let's see. Yeah, roll plus weird. Oh, I forgot. It's weird. <laughs> Not sharp. Oh, I'm in trouble. Okay. Oh no. Are you uh, enlisting any help? Uh, does hey, Sal? Would you know something? I mean, I take care of my bike. Okay. All right. Yeah. I guess. I guess so. Yeah. Uh, uh, do you have a garage on your house, Sal? Uh, <laughs> I uh, I live in like the one step up apartment complex. Like, oh, from, from oh, kids. oh, like I always thought you had a had a house for some reason. <laughs> okay. Nope. Okay. Pardon. Nah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, well. She keeps mobile. In fact, like, since you've known her, she's probably moved, like, every six months to a year. Got it. Most wise. And yeah. Rex approves. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Wh so where do you do this, then? Um, I mean, there's got to be, like, a... College dorm shop, or... Yeah, I was about to say, like, a, like a shop. Like, like at the in a shop class situation or something. Salad have access to a lot of the school, being an adjunct professor or whatever. I'll say, um, here you go. I'll say, 
Uh, if you're looking for like power tools and stuff like that, uh, your friendly neighborhood campus theater department has a scene shop. Okay. <laughs> cool. All right. I think uh, Sally could probably finagle some use out of. All right, Sal, give me the bonus. All right. The roll to help out. Okay. And that's, uh, what is that again for help out? That cool? You guys are asking me to learn like two rules and it's just too many. Um, <laughs> it's it. It, it is. The system. It is plus cool. Okay. You think I would remember? No. <coughs> Ooh. <laughs> I'm not rolling well today, friends. Hell, XP. I am not, and I apologize. I apologize. You do mark XP. You um. So Rex, you <laughs> you don't get any bonus. Um, Sally, you expose yourself to trouble or danger without helping. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> that'll come up in just a second here. Okay. Right. Uh, yeah, let's... I mentioned that Sally has really bad luck. <laughs> Does she? No. Yeah, yeah, maybe a little. I gotta search the books and figure out how I can swap weird with, with sharp, because <laughs> I'm in trouble. All right, here we go. Maybe you get yeah. lucky. Dice, don't fail me now. <gasps> Whew, okay. I stepped in. Close. Yes. Whew. Okay. <clears throat> All right. That's a seven. Right, um, so you pick one requirement and I will pick the other one. All right. Uh... <laughs> um, I'm going to say that it won't be very reliable. I like it. I like it. Uh, all right, so it won't be very reliable. Um, I am gonna add, let's see, last time I did a huge amount of power. I think that kind of defeats the purpose of the whole thing. Um, uh, I'm gonna say, yeah, I'll lean on, um, it will take a long time to get working. Um, so I think uh, Sally is not, not much help <laughs> here. Um, <laughs> but uh, I, I, I don't think she does any, any undue damage. Um, but I don't necessarily think she speeds up the process any. Um, so it is, uh, it's probably going to, gonna take what one more round, okay. uh, in the shop to get that fully done. But you're on your way. Um, All right. So Sal and I take her bike back somewhere <laughs> to her place or whatever. All right. Uh, before you do this, um, Sally, uh, so you are, uh, I think, have have maybe given up on helping at a certain point. Maybe are uh, hanging out, taking a break, having playing with power tools, snack, definitely playing with power tools, um, <coughs> and. Uh, sort of off I think uh in I said you were in the theater department so I'm gonna lean into that because that is a part of a university that I know what it looks like um so I think the uh the scene shop is sort of off uh to the side of the uh, the essentially what the the main stage is in this theater building so there is the uh the main stage there is the wings and sort of part of the backstage area I and mean, then there's a large sort of rolling door that would cut off the the scene shop from the stage makes it easy to move large set pieces right onto the stage if the scene shop is right next to it um this is what my college theater was laid out like so that's what we're doing um and i think in the sort of main stage area there is sort of a half built uh set that is going up for the uh fall shakespeare production uh that they that the uh the school historically puts on in the fall um there are some uh, some people out in that. I think you can see kind of from where you are um, out in the front row of seats. There are um, a few students sitting there, some backpacks, um, some like kicked off shoes. And then there are some students kind of up on stage. Um, it looks like uh, running through some lines, practicing some blocking, doing things that things that they may be doing to prepare for this um, 
this production that they are putting on in uh, in a few weeks from now. Um, I think as you are kind of kicking it, uh, watching, kind of half watching Rex, um, you hear from out in the theater a, a crashing sound and the sound of like wood scraping together and this loud, like piercing scream. I'm out there. Okay, uh, you go running out onto the stage. I and mean, I think you can see a couple of students um, and a very <laughs> terrified looking uh, professor uh, sort of making their way up onto the stage and all surrounding um, what looks to be a square uh, hole that has opened up in the stage floor. Um, kind of towards the center and the back, presumably where a trap, a trap door would be in a stage. And they are sort of looking down in it and you can hear this like wailing uh, coming from below the stage. What the fuck happened? Uh, I think one of the uh, students sort of turns to look at you like panicked, like not knowing what to do. It's, uh, the the trapped it goes into the basement i guess it wasn't closed she just, just fell go down all right uh i'm gonna go down to the basement okay um I think you uh make your way down uh into the basement um there is a young woman uh down there sort of on the on the concrete floor floor have been following um this story with um a leg that uh looks like she should not be walking on it okay She's really injured conscious um but but not looking good okay uh is there anything around that like is gonna be dangerous for her right now or can she stay where she is um there's lots of stuff down here um if she i mean if she doesn't move she'll probably be fine but i would say the basement is just sort of covered in these shelves of Things or stacks of furniture. It is props. It is every kind of imaginable thing you could find. Um, okay, I want to get the theater right basement. Here. Okay, great. All right. Can I try not to jostle her as much as possible? I know you're not supposed to move them, but if it's not safe down here, then I've got to move her. So uh, I'm just gonna get her out of the basement and then clear the basement. I'll, I'll call 911. Okay. Um, I'm gonna have you roll two act under pressure do I have chill I have some chill okay I feel like this music is too chill for this 12 uh, nice oh, that's fun let's do that instead all right uh 12 is very very good um and you do what you set out to do. Um, so yeah, <coughs> I think uh, this girl is uh, sort of at this point. I think from the from the pain, probably like in and out of um, of a shock state, maybe of consciousness. Um, but you are able to slowly um, and carefully sort of move her without doing too much extra damage. You hope um, uh, up to the the main floor um of the of the theater and sort of set her down on the uh on the the floor of the stage um and i will very specifically point to the adult in the room and be like have you called 911 uh, she nods <laughs> good furiously <coughs> all right g keep her comfortable and i'll go wait outside for the ambulance okay uh, they do so um before that, I'm gonna look at the group. Is is our witchy friend in here anywhere? Uh, specifically, who do you think you're looking for? Uh, Alyssa, our, our newbie witch, or uh, or her or, or her ex girlfriend of the swimmer friend. Uh, that would be Emily. Uh, no, neither of them are there. Okay. Okay. Um, I want to head outside to go uh, meet the ambulance, but I'm gonna go. Tap Rexy. Uh, this could be completely unrelated, but I think we got more witchy shit. Uh, look around. Nod, nod. 
And you see that Rex was already like hiding the motorcycle <laughs> and, and parts because <laughs> he knows that it's not going to get fixed, like pulling tarps over it and shoving all that stuff aside. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Uh, symbols, uh, energy, some, something. Just check, check, check the space. Nod, nod, nod. All right, and, I'm going to go make sure this girl's okay. And I'm going to go <laughs> grab the ambulance. Okay. Uh, yeah, and you, uh, Sally, head outside to uh, to flag down the ambulance and uh, show the the paramedics that are incoming where to go. Um, as Rex, you want to do some looking around? Yeah, I'll uh, under the hood. I'll I'll slide a GoPro onto the side of my paintball mask and uh, start you know clicking on to film and then just start looking around. Okay. Um, yeah, I think with with everything that is going on, um, it looks like most of the um, the rest of the students, which is a small class, I mean, maybe seven or you know, six or seven students total, um, the rest of them, I think, have it looks like they have been told they can go uh, for for the morning. Um, so they have sort of gathered up their stuff out of the uh, out of the front row and are leaving. Um, just leaving, kind of one. Um, uh, backpack and like a purse sitting there um, which you can assume are this girl's um, the the professor is sort of staying with her but they are, are not paying you too much attention um, so you have uh, her stuff sitting over there um, and then on the stage you have this uh, um, this like half built this vague sort of set that is going up, not painted or anything. Um, and then in the center of the uh, this main stage towards the back, um, there is this kind of square opening um, okay. where the trap door uh, is falling open. So Rexy will go over to the, the purse and backpack and like, you know, uh, like push the purse open and sweep it with the GoPro as best they, they can, and then do the same with the backpack, and then turn around and pretend they're bringing them over, and and just keep the head down with the hood and just kind of set the stuff by them, uh, and then then go check out like the the trap door area around it, and then the then the basement last. Okay. Or no, um, basement first because then they'll be gone by the time by the time Rex can look around up here. Perfect. So. Very smart. Um, yes, I'm gonna have you roll to investigate. Okay. Yeah, there it is. Thirteen. All right. So, um, yeah, I think you get a a couple of things. Um, and I, you, uh, you do catch catch all this on your camera, so you can uh, come back to it later. Um, but I think in the moment, there's a couple of things that you notice um how i guess how familiar is rex since there have been i guess discussions of like witchcraft and it being witches and sally's pretty sure it's witches um how how familiar is rex with any of that not that's not that's that's what other <laughs> folks are for and and rex really just usually defers any of that to them i mean they spend enough time on the internet looking up creepy, weird stuff because they're a monster hunter. But it's just like, yep, that's like a goat head or whatever. Yep, next. That's the that's something I look for. Pentagram, that's something I look for. This is, you know, this is a D and D symbol. Nope, that's in the player's handbook. <laughs> that's not what I look for. You know, okay. that kind of stuff. That's about as much as Rex knows. So enough to recognize stuff, but maybe not know what it's for. Right. Okay. Excellent. Um, so yeah, I think you, um, in this moment, I think you pick up a couple of things. Um, one being that you, uh, when you go and check out the the basement and everything and the trap door, um, you there is nothing immediately obvious to you there's no like you don't go down into the basement and there's no like sigils painted in blood on the wall or anything like that like there's there's a lot of stuff okay. um down there again you know you're in the basement of the theater department it is where they keep all of their stuff um but uh there's you know there's piles of furniture there's a whole shelf just devoted to candlesticks 
um, and <laughs> <laughs> like different just, period. Uh... Yeah, just every kind that you could find. There's like t there's tons of books everywhere. Um, looking around the, the area around the trapdoor, um, especially um, knowing that at least one of them has carved uh, symbols into things before. Um, looking for that, um, you don't come across anything um, necessarily that is <clears throat> that strikes you as creepy um i think when you uh go through the um uh, just very briefly kind of scanning through her backpack and her purse um <coughs> inside the purse um i think you can't see i mean standard stuff that you would find in there right her phone is in there there's some pens there's not not a whole lot of stuff it's a small bag um but i think sort of uh i think it catches your eye because it looks so different from everything else that is in the bag sort of nestled in one side of it um there is what looks almost like a uh, a pouch i think at first glance maybe it looks like a coin purse or something like that um but it is this very uh this small um maybe a, an inch or two across sort of round bag that is tied up okay. at the top um that uh so almost looks like like oh, um like a dark like old leather okay. or something like that that is sort of tucked in there that looks very different from all the uh all the other things that are that are in there cool and then nothing in the basement just that that's like what i find mm -hmm. cool okay yeah yeah as long as I didn't have to interact with a human, another human being, nope. the whole thing, I, I'm pretty happy. Nope, you very politely um, went through all of her things and then brought them to her. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I don't, I, she was not, probably not even like cognizant of you being there trying to trying to deal with everything that's going on. So, so hard not to grab a new phone, so, <laughs> but Rex did not. Okay. Uh, okay, yep. And see. Right. Uh, Sally, you uh, flag down the the paramedics. Um, this is sort of after after Rex has handed over the bags and gone into the basement. Flag down the paramedics and bring them inside. Do you speak to them or anyone? Yeah, I'll give it. Because I got a trapdoor fell open. She fell a good ways. Uh, she's she's up on the stage. She's conscious, but I think she's going into shack. Thank you for your help. And I get the fuck out of there and I go find Rexy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, the uh, the two of you sort of meet up outside the outside the building. All right, Rexy, tell me we got something. Um, and and Rex talks through the modulator because you're used to it. And is uh, it's uh, looks like some weird mojo bag or something hex bag ah cool which is hex bag hex bag and rexy tries to it? remember that uh no it's in the purse <laughs> oh yeah he's, they're talking um no no i didn't grab anything if i would have grabbed anything i would have grabbed a bat the phone you know oh, well, always looking enough. for a new phone um, uh. Do do I do I know enough about witchy shit to uh, know if if her having that still on her is going to be a problem? Uh, potentially. Okay. Um, there are many different uses for for hex bags, mojo bags. Um, I I think in Sally's particular experience with. Which is a, a hex bag is probably a one and done kind of thing because usually it kills whoever it's on. Um, so this is uh, fair. That's that sounds like sounds like it would probably be your specific experience uh, with with witches. Not that that is always the case, um, but uh, she is still alive. That could be the only bad thing that uh, that happens to her, or it could not. All right. We may want to get that thing off of her. I don't know. Uh, yeah, maybe maybe Hex can do some quick talking. I don't know. Yeah, they, my Rex's eyes go wide. Like, mm, mm, that's like 
talking. I mean, talking. I mean, actually talking because he's actually pretty good at that, not other things that involve talking. We'll just, uh, fuck. So I'll just go into the text thread. And and meanwhile, Rex is trying to, to get that frame out of the GoPro and send the hex bag picture to our, our magic uh, folk. Okay. okay. Rexy, can you do one more thing for me? Can nod. you figure out who's enrolled in this class? Nod, nod. <laughs> let's get pictures, let's get names, and then let's see if we get any overlap in this fucking book club thing. And maybe we can narrow down some potentials here. All right. All right. And uh, at any point, did Abby share the, the book club info? Like the Facebook page or anything? Uh, the other two were there. Okay. Yeah, I would have sent it to you then, sure. Okay, cool. Then, then yeah, then I would go that rabbit hole with the Facebook and, and look for it, because Rexy wouldn't have thought of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, you... Uh, book club, book club, book club. Yeah, you rolled so good on your last roll that you would have had multiple questions, so we'll carry it over. <laughs> okay. Because uh, you did very, very, very good on the investigating... I don't want to take that away from you. Um, so yeah, I think you uh, you start to dig into this book club. Um, I think you find a couple of things. Um, this this sort of iteration of this book club, literary ladies, um, had was just uh, started up sort of at the beginning okay. of this school year. Um, it has been around before. Um, it is sort of a, a club that you can trace back through uh, at least a couple a couple of decades, yeah, mm. for a while. Um, and it sort of pops up, lasts for a year or two, membership dwindles, it goes away, and then a well-meaning student uh, sort of tries to tries to revive it. Um, so it uh, it has popped back up this year. Um, there is a a list of the um the the three founding members i guess um currently there are five people um that go to these meetings uh two of the names you recognize right away okay um being uh Alyssa baker whose uh room you broke into um and uh her roommate emily fisher um you get three more names, uh, one of which pops up uh, in not only the theater department, um, but in this class that uh, you're observing, and also in the uh, cast list for uh, this uh, this production of As You Like It that uh, that is currently going on. The name is Destiny Wainwright. Cool. Please say she's an understudy. She happens to be. Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, um, looking up and, uh, and I'll give you this as well. The the name of the uh, the injured girl um, who does not come up as part of the book club, um, but uh, is in this class um, is also was, you assume now, um, in this production of As You Like It. Um, her name is Courtney Jameson. Um, she is a senior at this university. Long storied history in the, in the theater department. All right. Um, and again, that was a thing where Sally bumped Rex's thinking because they would have never thought to look as an understudy or cast list. And just so and you get the like double thumbs up uh text and like i said i sent the the picture of the now what i know is called a hex bag to our magic folks and then all of this info truncated and screenshotted so it's like very small bites of info you know and sally will just follow it up with we got witches bitches <laughs> Uh, Abby and Wynn, you both receive these, this string of text messages. In class, text later. <laughs> yes. That's awesome. Yeah, what time is it right now? 
<laughs> uh. Are we through morning classes? Are we in morning uh, classes? Yeah, well, I'll say it's uh, we're sort of hitting after lunch. Yeah, uh, <laughs> so in which case, when schedule was blood ritual at 10, and then... <laughs> Uh, had Please say that's in like his eye calendar. Like, yeah, it probably was. Know. It probably was that day uh, to <laughs> renew his subscription to Familiar Monthly, um, <laughs> and then goes to class. It is in currently his uh, anthropology class, and I think he probably went to get coffee beforehand. Is wearing sunglasses because of the blood loss. Um, is a little delirious, uh, but he does get an extra coffee and drops it off in front of uh, BB as sort of an apology for being so fucking awkward yesterday. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, all right. I'm going to say this is a, uh, a class that you have that afternoon. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, you sort of awkwardly drop off the, the coffee in front of her. Um, and I think she kind of looks up at you a little confused i was having a really bad day yesterday i didn't mean to offend you i'll leave you alone now we're cool and then i get the text i'm like fuck this class and i walk away i walk out <laughs> <laughs> you say this out loud no not in front of i don't okay. say that out loud <laughs> Fuck this class, I'm out. <laughs> okay, I know so Wynn's you... been awkward for the last <laughs> couple of sessions, but he's not. He's not a total idiot. <laughs> well. well. Buffy season two or three. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah, so you yeah, you drop this coffee up off uh, with her. I think she kind of eyes you, says you're cool. Um, and then watches you immediately turn around and walk out the door. I go to the back of the room, look like I'm gonna sit down, wait for the lecture to like begin, everyone to settle down, and then I leave like I'm going You to wait the for the lecture to start and yeah. then you leave? Yeah, it's the perfect time to leave. And attendance has already gone around, I've already signed it, and I'm They out. saw you leave. Yeah. I've already signed the sheet, they don't know my name. It's like a lecture hall with like three hundred people in it. Okay. Okay. Listen, oh. I've been around the block before. I know how this works. Yeah, so am I. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this year, the kind of person that stressed me out in college. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> um, yeah, so you you uh, say, fuck this class, take your, your coffee, and you leave. Because mm -hmm. you got witches, bitches. Yeah. Or do you? I don't know. <laughs> uh. Let's see, what What would you like to do? Abby, I think probably soon after this, your classes are letting out. Uh, Abby's, uh, when her class is over, so like an hour or two later, she, you guys get a text message from her that says, what was in the bag? What exactly was in the bag? Don't know, but want to find out. I've gone to meet up with wherever Sally's at right now. Grr, duh, er, ugh, and then an embarrassed emoji. <laughs> you didn't grab the bag, did you? Maybe we should head to the hospital? A uh, 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 gif of nope. <laughs> <laughs> GG. <laughs> GG. <laughs> Embarrassed emoji again. <laughs> Where is it? Question mark. At the hospital with the injured girl. And the the room number for the hospital room comes up. <sighs> Abby sighs audibly to herself in the lab. <laughs> Are hey, we going to get it? Question mark. Maybe Wynn could bring flowers? Question mark. Who was it? You never really <laughs> said. Uh, Rex knows. Destiny Wainwright. Picture. No, Courtney. Courtney. Oh, yeah, yeah. The injured girl is Courtney. Courtney Jameson. Courtney Jameson. I She's assume. a 
senior. Mm -hmm. uh, she is a. Uh, she is a. I think pretty, pretty notorious at least within the theater department. Don't know how much crossover you have with them. Probably none. You ever been to a play for extra credit? Probably not. <laughs> uh. uh the face looks vaguely familiar as you have probably seen it on some posters before. I could make this work. I, I could make this work. <laughs> Abby texts, I'm going to go to make sure he doesn't... He does it. Dot, dot, dot. Just in case. <laughs> Good plan. Rex, I need a list of some of the shows she was in this last uh, last year. And and to the, the Abby going, it's like, thank the gods. Jesus. <laughs> all cap s <laughs> um and then yeah he'll, he'll try to find it and if so but zip it along uh i i think that's probably easy to find that's probably somewhere on the theater department website in their archives um they take a lot of photos of those things so mm -hmm. uh you can <laughs> you can find all sorts of pictures that you probably wish weren't on the internet of you if you look at your old college theater department um so true this is not from personal experience or anything. Ah. <laughs> um, yeah, she, uh, I think she's she's done um, probably at least the fall Shakespeare production in some capacity every year. Um, and last spring, she was the lead in the spring musical Mamma Mia. Heck yeah. <laughs> that they did. <laughs> Of course they did, Mamma Mia. Crowd, big did. crowd pleaser. Very mm. much so. I was going to say something else, but <laughs> no, it sounds like something they would do. <laughs> uh, right. Yeah, go to the hospital. Me too. And I'd get some flowers. Okay, what kind of flowers do you get? Flowers you get for someone who fell through the stage uh, during rehearsal. Begonias. She could eat them as a snack too. It's coming back around. Are you about to bring begonias back into my game? <laughs> <laughs> my begonias. Uh, I don't know. Like. Yeah. No. No. Daffodils. Nope, that's what you do. Okay, nope. Sure. You said it. It's Daisies canon now. You said it. It's canon. That's sure. what happened. You go to this little um, local <laughs> flower shop, and it's called. I don't know what it's called. I don't know why I'm trying to name it. Flower stuff. Power. It is. And this nice um, old lady named Maggie runs it. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. All right. I get no some begonias. I have nothing to role play here. I go and I <laughs> make my purchase and I leave. <laughs> you do this. Uh, you do this what you, thing. What you and, don't know is you just ran into the big baddie of yeah. the game. You didn't even know up. She could be a witch. <laughs> uh, it's more than that. So much more. Uh, you get some. I don't even know if you can like buy bunches of begonias, but you do somehow. <laughs> um, and uh, you go to the uh, the local hospital nearby. Abby's okay. just waiting at the entrance, which I'm sure is something Baptist something um, yeah. hospital. Why oh. do you have flowers? It's what you give to people when they're sick or injured. Oh, you knew her? I'm gonna pretend like I did. <clears throat> do. Okay. Um, if you can just distract her enough so that I can go in her bag. Sure. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so go in up to reception and say that I'm here to visit. Um. Oh crap! What was her name? Courtney. Courtney Jameson. Courtney Jameson. Yeah, Jameson. Um. Is this the? Okay, I was listening to the music for a second. It's not like the theme song to ER. Like the music... I don't think it's that. It's very good hospital music. <laughs> it just felt like it needed to be a little more chill since you're walking around a hospital. This is every background like song they play at every hospital okay you can pick the music next time 
No, I sing. Just love kidding. It. You can't. It's my game, and I'm your god now. What are you doing in the hospital? Okay. All right. I'm going up to her room after we are told to do so by the hospital staff. <laughs> yeah. Um. I. It's not a not a big to do. I think. Mm -hmm. Um. There's. Tune in to the matrimony game. game that they do later in the week to <laughs> find out how this all resolves. Um. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, I, you guys, uh, you, you don't have a super hard time. Um, and you make your way up to her room. All right. So you're gonna, you're gonna go through the back. All right. Mm -hmm. Just be quick. I don't know how long this is gonna buy, how much time this is gonna buy us. Okay. Uh, knock on the door. And then I open, uh, Courtney? Yeah. Uh, come in, like, smiling, kind of like cautiously that walk you do when you're like, is this person dying <laughs> into a hospital room? Uh, say, hey, uh, I, I just, I, I brought these, these flowers for you. Um, I, I'm, I'm Wynn. You, you probably don't recognize me. Um, no. No. Oh, that's fine. Uh, I, I I went to a couple of your shows last year, and and we did some uh, fundraisers uh, at uh, Ada Kai for some of the theater productions. Uh, and they sent me as sort of like an ambassador to to see if you were doing and how you're doing, and uh, bring you these. Uh, the uh, the guys at Ada Kai sort of chipped in and uh, uh, wanted to make sure you were okay. That's really nice. It was the least we could do. I mean, that's it's. Uh, how are you? Are you okay? Uh, what a loaded question. I'm in a lot of pain. Uh, yeah, it, it sounded like you took fall. The did the stage break open or what? What happened? They're not sure. Um, I guess the official thing right now is that the trap wasn't latched properly but jeez is that yeah it's literally never happened before so. i was gonna say it doesn't sound like something that happens very often uh no um i find a place to like set the flowers and stuff and start like drawing her attention to where i'm <laughs> sitting like uh okay like next to the bed uh like find a place i assume there's probably already other flowers and stuff mm -hmm. around the room yeah um find a place to shove them sure i'm gonna have you roll to manipulate someone uh, i thought you were having me roll for the finding a place to put the flowers i was like mm -hmm. that's a little no uh what is that charm <laughs> i think win can handle that part uh yeah plus charm no to uh to sort of direct her attention where you want it I think I rolled magic. The last roll I had was we'll use magic, I think. So I think I get the plus one for my... Is that on any roll? Uh, it's uh, a luck of the damned is if you use magic cast a row to get a plus one on the next roll I make. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, it was just magic. No. It's, That's a good it's, move. It's the next roll, so I won't have it after this one. That's awesome. I've just been doing a lot of use magic today. That's a 10. Okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think you uh, are subtly trying to direct her attention toward one uh, one side of the the room, towards like the windowsill, where you very nicely uh, place these flowers. Mm -hmm. um, Abby, have you? Did you go in the room with? Yes. <laughs> okay. Just uh, quietly didn't <laughs> say anything. It faded to the background. Yeah, and and I, she's good at doing. <laughs> yeah. If she draw, if she makes any notice or like looks at Abby at any point, I just say, "Oh, that's my friend Abby. She gave me a ride over here. I, I, I hope it's not a problem if she waits in here with me." I think she just briefly kind of like <laughs> waves. Like I think she um, is is spending a lot of energy already. I think focusing on you, Win, and is probably a little um, a little out of it anyway. So I, yeah, I, between that and and your role sort of directing her abby i don't think she i think she forgets you're in the room as soon as she looks away from you that happens 
<laughs> Wynn's got his biggest smile and sort of tosses his blonde hair. Abby rolls her eyes as she goes for the bag. <laughs> uh, just says, uh, I, I, well, have, uh, I hope that everything, uh, I hope you recover quickly. I really do. Um, I, I can only imagine how, how just stressful this whole situation has been. Yeah. I mean, if anything, some people would say it takes some of the pressure off, right? No show. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that's... Are, are they going to delay it until they can fix the stage? And uh, No, I have an understudy, so... Oh. Who's that? Uh, uh, what's that bitch's name? Uh, Destiny? Destiny? Well... I can't imagine she's as talented as you are, but uh, hopefully uh, the the show can go on. I guess is that is that something you actually say? I hear that like movies and no, stuff. All no, no one says that. No, all right. Well, I, we I, do I, say break a leg. Break, well, I I won't say that. Guess she super meant it. Uh, doesn't sound like you guys like each other too much. I have that effect on people. It sounds like it's a pretty competitive gig. It's a learning experience for everyone. I don't know. I don't envy her. I was in her shoes last year for the musical, so. Well, you were uh, you were the lead in uh, in Mamma Mia, weren't you? So you sort of got your big break there. Yeah, it wasn't supposed to be. Really. No, no. Uh, I was uh, Jessica Davis. I was her understudy. Really? Yeah, she got pneumonia uh, like the week before. Huh. Uh, sounds like you y'all have a lot of bad luck around the around the department. I don't know. Somebody said the word, I guess, or something. Yeah, I'm keeping an eye on the side and seeing when Abby finally gets her <laughs> thing because I'm running out of talking points. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I don't think it takes very long, um, Abby. I think you sort of uh, sidle over to her bag, um, and you, if you've seen the photos or where it's placed in the purse, but it's a small bag and they just sort of like tucked off to to mm -hmm. one side. This this pouch is sitting in there, um, so I think you can snake it pretty easily. Solid. Uh, yeah, she'll grab it and uh, like stretch awkwardly and like put it in her pocket <laughs> um and then she'll kind of look at is is her leg uh like in a cast mm -hmm. um she'll um she i think she's just gonna go over and like read her chart <laughs> okay because she's curious As she's doing uh, this i'm like if she's on the other side of it, i'm giving her a look like you doing <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah i think you sort of pull it out of the um the the place where it's at and kind of flip through the the chart really quick um she has uh no other like major mm -hmm. injuries uh, based on the way she landed her leg i think took most of the brunt of the fall mm -hmm. um but yeah she's Did she's she in, a, in a sort of full leg yeah cast. yeah yeah which bone broke? If you don't mind me asking. The big one. Ah. Her, I'm gonna, yeah, I think, um, for it to be her full leg, I mean, I'm gonna say she has multiple, multiple broken bones. I think the most concerning one is probably that femur. Sure. Um, hmm. So. She'll, like, just take notes, like, just mental notes, because this is what she knows about, mm -hmm. per se, and then she'll kind of put it back and. Uh, we um, uh, we got a, the thing. Oh, the parking's gonna expire. That's mm. right. I forgot we only got that thirty minute. They really charge. Have don't have a lot of parking right now. Anyway, um, uh, well, we gotta get going. Um, I, I if if there's anything that we can do, and I I like take a, a tear piece of paper or something and and i write my phone number on it and i uh put on the bedside so uh 
we want to do anything we can. Uh, the boys are at, at Ada Kai are, are really want to do anything we can to support uh, uh, you and, and the program with what's going on right now. We're trying to be more active and things that aren't. Uh, so I'm getting there. Uh, so much going along with uh, typical fraternity life. Uh, but that's my personal phone number, and um, you can call me if you if you need anything. Uh, thanks. I really appreciate that. Um, just focus on getting better. I'll do my best. And oh, um, thanks for bringing him, Amy. Um, it was nice to meet you. Yeah, uh, you too. Um, just make sure when you're on painkillers, you're not going to drink any alcohol because it's just going to mess up your system. Um, oh, I'll oh, be in thanks. the hallway. <laughs> okay. It was good to see. You. You too. I think I'm gonna take a nap. <laughs> As we duck out, I just look at him like, "Did you get it?" Of course. All right. Do you want me to open it right now? No, not right now. Never mind. Okay. Let's just get out of the hospital. <laughs> How did you get here? How did I get here? Yes. I took the bus. Do we have want? a transit system. You don't need to, like, drive everywhere. All right, well, you can take the bus, and I'll meet you back there in two hours. Fine. <laughs> uh, where are Ask we going? Ask for the ride. Do it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> uh, do you want to go back to the... I mean, your place is closer. Yeah, uh, unless there was anything, experiments or tests you want to run on it back at your... Uh, no, I think lab. we just need to know what's inside of it, right? Yeah. Uh, well, let's just... And we can open up. We just need to get back to your car and we can open it up and look at it and figure out where we need to go from there. When we'll remember that Abby drives a Vespa. Oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> I was thinking the motors, the, the fancy car that we were in yeah. last time. That's right. Uh, yeah, let's just go back to my place and look at it. All right. Just in case there's like baby bones or something in it. I don't want to explain that. Yeah. <laughs> She'll text the group target acquired. Where are we meeting? <clears throat> My place. All right. Be there in five. Cool. Yep. Vespa back. <laughs> right. All right. Sally so beat you there. She's outside smoking. So, uh, am I on your bike with you then, Sal? Oh, yeah, that's right. Your bike's busted. Yeah, you ride with me. All right. Cool. All right. So, we're both waiting for you there. Sally smoke. Go up at the frat house, yeah. and mm. your friends are there. Yay, everyone. All right. Let's bring this parade inside. Mm -hmm. right. I try to <laughs> sneak everybody in the back so that I don't have to explain to all my fraternity brothers what, what's going on. Sally's not being quiet. She's like, it looks like it's actually cleaner than last time. That's amazing. Oh, God, what does that smell? Well, the cleaning service comes through once a month, so, yeah. yeah. So that smell is just stale alcohol, pee, and uh, male sweat. Yep, got yeah. it. Cool. Yep. Human beings are so disgusting. It smells yeah. like home. Let's open this thing up. <laughs> yeah, uh, get, get in my room and then uh, crack up, pop this baby open. All right. Abby's going to stand in the back it's of the room. It's got a pull tab like a beer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's you uh, untie the, uh, the little pouch. Um, opening it up um, it to you know, when I mean probably pretty familiar with well, this kind of thing yeah when does something like this but the opposite um, with the tokens and the bags and stuff mm -hmm. so I think he's familiar with how so this that's works more of a, a mojo bag I think yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. okay Who yeah do? I uh, for for you I mean I think it's again it's it's pretty standard fare um, a couple of 
small, maybe um, knuckle bones, kind of smaller bones in general. Um, and then a couple of other, they're probably, I mean, a couple of knuckle bones, a couple of probably like small bird bones, things like that. Um, there um, is also this small, um, it, like a like a cutting of hair inside um and then a couple of pieces um of like torn almost like cardstock it's like thick uh thick kind of like glossy uh paper that have been put inside um from from your perspective and i think abby's as well again like the most very basic sort of things you would need to to make one of these yeah um, would would looking this over and kind of comparing it to any notes or small little because Wynn probably has a couple of books and stuff that his mom made him bring um, mm -hmm. uh, comparing that could I do an investigate a mystery role and get some information from it or is it pretty much what I what we see is what we get uh, no I think yeah I think you guys can investigate Jeez, I'm rolling scary well right now. That's a nine. Okay. Uh, so I think I... Is that one It's a hold one, yeah. Yeah. I think I just want to know what can it do. What was the specific intent of this bag? Um, was it to, to kill or was it uh, just to cause injury? What was the exact like intention behind it? Based okay. on the components that I'm seeing. Yeah, I think that's fair. Um, based based on on what you guys are seeing, um, I I think you get the impression that this was like a a, a one off kind of thing, um, kind of a, a one and done uh, cause some sort of uh, probably bodily harm uh, based on the the bones and everything that are in it. Um, to the person that it was directed towards, um, probably, probably not necessarily to to kill them. I don't think anything maybe that sinister, um, but kind of a one-off harm them. Maybe a like um, the intention being to like take them out of commission or um, sort of get them out of the way. Um, but definitely, definitely harmful, but not not to the level of like killing them. Yeah, I don't think this was supposed to kill uh, Courtney, but somebody wanted her out of the way. What are we going to do when we find these people? K k kill, kill them? I, I don't think they've done anything to really warrant killing them. You said my threshold for punching witches was bodily harm. They just harmed this girl. I get to punch witches. Okay. But they're probably just messing with something they don't understand. Well, then they're not witches. They're just idiots. And I won't punch idiots. Fine. Uh, my, <clears throat> my order comes across people like this all the time. And it, typically they try to educate them, bring them into the fold, or uh, <laughs> I guess. Re Re Rexy actually does that kind of like, what? <laughs> Or, <laughs> that's scary as shit um, but doesn't say anything uh, or they uh, they neutralize them non-lethally they cut them off from the source what order is that uh, I really that's can't private yeah give give specifics to it uh, sort of Secret, kind of like Illuminati sort of stuff. It's not the Illuminati. Uh, you, not, just, you just see your eyebrows climb higher and higher and higher. <laughs> not, and not really. Well, Illuminati. Rex is like, of course, I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't say it. Nah, they're they're sort of boring in comparison to what we do. But yeah, well, what my family did does. I'm not really in it fully yet <clears throat> so it's not it's not your order it's the order that you have your I, i'm sort of an, an, dad I'm, in. I'm sort of an initiate i haven't taken the exams to get to that point yet i've been kind of putting them off 
Surprise. Is this order going to be a problem? Or? No, no, no. No. All right. So what are we going to do? Are we going to find out who they are and then scare them straight or cut them off from Why don't we whatever? give them a new member? Everybody looks at Abby. You seem <laughs> just the type. Uh, but I already know how to do magic. They don't know that. Yeah. Uh, okay. Great. Yeah, no, I'm sure that me acting is going to be the best course of action. Well, you already know some magic. So if anything, you could show them up and show them how it's done. Yes, but won't that just encourage them to do more magic? You could be a guiding hand. At the very least, you don't have to do it forever. It's just so we can figure Wait, out, you know, what they want. where were these guys when we wanted to do our class? I don't know. I mean, it, it's possible that they have other guidance here. Uh, I was. Th it just kind of occurred to me that a lot of the times when we find these sort of rogue factions and uh, pop up out there. There's usually someone leading. I mean, you have to be taught this stuff. You can't, you don't mm -hmm. typically just learn it on your own. Um, well, Rexy said this thing's like this particular group crops up every couple of years at the school. And maybe they thought your class sounded lame. <laughs> I don't really blame them for that. It's just, we didn't really do good advertising for it. Yeah, real magic's not as, as exciting as, you know, the bullshit it's, stuff. No. As creepy curse, getting ve ven vengeance on your enemies, ha uh, you know, yeah. curse. <laughs> Definitely got got flair, but there's probably somebody pulling the strings, kind of pulling them down the road. Probably another, another witch or a demon or... You said this is like super basic shit though, right? Yeah. Yeah, but you got to start somewhere. Yeah, well, it's kind of a, it's kind of addicting, once you start using it. Um, you don't say. I, I mean, I, I have no experience with that. Uh huh. So, uh, but if you don't use it the right way, then um, it can get pretty nasty. You don't say. Well, okay. Uh, we infiltrate and uh, do some reconnaissance and uh, see what's really going on here. You up for that, Abby? Uh, yeah. Totally. I mean, if they're looking for like a club sponsor or something, I mean, I could go in, but uh, I think I think we're we're better off with uh, with you giving it a try first. Yeah. No. Yeah. It'll be fine. I mean, I can wait outside. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Okay. Yeah, I'll I'll wait outside and just, you know, text me text me a safe word or something, and I'll come in. Uh, okay. Do you, do you, you want could to? just leave, you could just leave your phone on. I'll let Sal know. Do you want some magical backup, just in case? In the form of. I can help you. Uh, do you remember what I did last time when we were trying to find uh, was it Katie? Uh, the scrying? Uh, no, the thing. Yeah, yeah. Where I I found I had like a I think the amulet that she had or the locket or something. Oh. Um, I can help you like that. I just need something important or personal, like a it can be like a lock of hair or something, or just like an important personal item or something um uh can you do it on my glasses how important are your no no, no i mean i need to hold on to it you oh probably... um uh sure um <laughs> she'll like look through her pockets and pull out a a compact like just a, a little mirror thing it looks really old oh. that'll work please don't break it I uh, will try not to. Yeah, don't don't break that. I'm I'm not gonna. Well, I'll, I'll be honest. It has the potential to consume it as part of its use. Don't use that. If it's very important, 
Like I said, it's kind of a family heirloom, so yeah. It maybe, maybe you should use something else then. Uh, um, okay. Uh, can you just take some of my hair? That's probably the easiest way to do it. All right. <laughs> she undoes her braid, <laughs> takes part of it, sniffs it. Yeah, I think hands it to him. Uh, Wynn also reaches into like the drawer and pulls out a few things and pulls out the the uh. <laughs> some of his paper and, and the bag of weed that he has and like push those to the side and then takes the uh, uh, pulls out from the back a small uh, wooden box and has some like square like crimson leather like kind of uh, uh, like scraps of, of material mm -hmm. and then rolls it up into a similar looking bag like what uh, what we found in uh, Courtney's backpack mm -hmm. Um, and puts the hair in that and then like tucks that into his pocket cool you just carry that thing around in your back pocket it could break you know uh i mean it's made out of metal so i don't really take it on missions or anything oh, just, just just saying just looks really nice <clears throat> mm -hmm. i really wish there was a read a person role in this game <laughs> oh, I guess there's not, huh? No. All right, so yeah, I'll wait outside and um, Rex sure. lets me know if I need to come in. Yeah, yeah, will do. Uh, I don't need to like make up a name or anything, right? That's stupid. Okay, let's go. <laughs> they know who you are. Sorry. Right, right. Okay. If they ask for blood, don't give it to them. I'm not an idiot. Uh, all right. No hair, no nail clippings. Yes, I know. All right. Well, go go have fun. <laughs> she grabs her book, <laughs> puts it in her bag. Better not have read this for nothing. <laughs> and I'd like to head to the uh, activity if it is uh, early or late enough. Uh, yeah, I think we've reached that point. Um, and yeah, you, uh, head over to the library where mm -hmm. this, this meeting is, uh, is happening in just a few minutes. Uh, make your way sort of up to the, uh, designated study room, um, probably a little bit early. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, <laughs> and uh, out waiting. It, it is a, one of those you have to like sign out the room and you go and get the key and all that. So you wait, um, and uh, so you wait outside for for a couple of minutes, um, and uh, a a a a young woman. Um, you sort of see her. I think they're coming up uh, one of the flights of stairs and making her way toward you. Um, she is a little bit older than you, um, probably, I don't know, probably junior, senior age, running like, you know, the 20, 21 years old, mm -hmm. um, sort of long, uh, dark brown hair, um, you know, plainly dressed sort of university t-shirt, uh, Nike shorts, tennis shoes, kind of probably coming from, from an afternoon class, um, carrying a, um, a large, tea drink i don't know mm -hmm. um bag slung over her shoulder it says hi um book club she pulls up the book i saw the facebook group and i thought you guys would you know i'd like you know reading a lot extracurriculars oh well hi um she's like stretches her uh her tea to her other hand um um, Brianna, she kind of sticks out a hand to shake hers. Abby. Cool. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, usually, usually uh, d do you know someone or you just, you just kind of found us? Uh, no, I just kind of found uh, the Facebook group. Uh, you know, I was looking, I, I'm a biochem major, so I don't get to see a lot of other people and looking for a way to get out and uh, okay. meet people sure sure yeah yeah no problem no problem we just i usually have a little bit more warning um sorry but, no you're fine you're fine uh so you've uh you got the book and you found the room so you're uh, one up on a lot of people that sign up on the flyer <laughs> uh 
yeah, come on in. Come on in. Um, cool. Let me let me get the door. Uh, the the other girl should be here in a, in a few minutes. So uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Abby's as awkward as possible. Basically, <laughs> I think it's great. She is like I think she's like trying to make small talk. Yeah. With you, but doesn't know what to talk to yeah. you about. So, uh, uh, biochem, you said, your major? Yeah, yeah. Um, studying, uh, a lot of different things. I'd like to focus on, um, uh, microbiology and, uh, how things come together and, uh, the, you know, how things affect the bloodstream and whatnot. So, you know, being on a college yeah. campus, you know, alcohol and stuff. It's, sure. Yeah. Just, you want to, what, you want to be a doctor or? Yeah, yeah, not like a not like a doctor who talks to people, but like a doctor who works in a lab and yeah. What about you? What's your uh major? Oh, uh yeah, I just uh I just switched into poli sci. So cool. Sounds fun. No, well, it's not the word I'd use, but uh <laughs> you know. Uh-huh. Interesting bits getting me on the path. So we shouldn't talk about the book yet, right? Uh, no, we should. All right. We should wait um, mm-hmm. a couple of minutes uh, mm-hmm. till everyone gets here. Um, and as you're having this awkward conversation, um, I think you you hear uh, a couple of voices um, coming around the the corner. Um, two girls walking in together, um, pic- pictures of which you have probably seen and recognized at this point. Um, one of them being Alyssa Baker, the other being Emily Fisher. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, she sort of waves them in, has them sit down, they greet each other like friends. Um, and then soon after, <coughs> um, one, uh, not one, two more um, people. So ending up with this this group of five um, other people and you. Um, so Brianna, you've been introduced to, um, mm-hmm. sort of showed up with the key two people you recognize. Um, one of these others introducing herself as Destiny Wainwright. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the final member last to show, um, introducing herself as Madison Taylor. Um, cool. And so they, uh, she, uh, Brianna, I think in- introduces you, um, and just kind of jumps right in. Um, they, uh, sort of pull out their books and she, starts to um brianna i think sort of leading the discussion a little bit starts to talk about this book um she is uh making an effort she's she seems sort of very nice and like she's making this concerted effort to try to like ask you questions and one probably make sure you actually did read this book <laughs> and aren't just like a weirdo that just yeah showed up. yeah um, yeah which you did mm-hmm. um so i think you you can answer them um but i think this this goes on for for a little bit um i and... think at some point abby's gonna check her phone <coughs> and like kind of give this audible like <sighs> and, like put it back in her pocket um and if if anybody takes note of that she'll, oh, sorry this is one of my guy friends he's just he's just a real jerk and he's being an asshole and sorry sorry I think we've all been there. <laughs> um, but I think you you make that that comment um, and, and Brianna kind of acknowledges you and says, well, that feels like a good place for us to take a quick break. Um, so uh, I did <laughs> bring snacks. So she is going into her um, bag and she pulls out um, a couple of different snack foods um, maybe some cookies that she has brought. Um, and then I think she also has a bag of those. Um, they're like chips, but they're um, like the veggie ones, you know, the veggie straws. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, so she brings out a, a, yeah. a bag of those as well. Um, and uh, they kind of put their books away and some of the girls start like talking to each other. Um, and mm-hmm. I think she kind of like sits back down next to you and says, so... I mean, you brought him up, so. Oh, Rexy, oh. Rexy makes up a something that a bad boyfriend would send <laughs> and sends it to you just so if, you know, if they push it, it's on yeah. your phone because okay. they're that kind of paranoid. Yeah. 
uh oh it's just this he's like he's this guy i know we ran a club together and he like i'm trying to get him to be more self-conscious of the things that he's doing and he's he's i think he's addicted to something and i don't you know i'm not just like normal stuff and i i think he really needs to brush out but he's like pushing me away and like being an asshole about it that's rough yeah well guys can be like that you know yeah. they think they know everything there is to know but <laughs> that's why we have spaces like this yeah hey and, you guys uh, seem like some good friends well, I'm, I'm glad you feel that way I'm glad you feel like you can talk to us. Um, so, uh, you know, usually for the for the second half of our uh, our means here, um, sometimes we go away from the book. Um, we'll just you know talk a little bit, talk about what's going on with with us. Um, you, you know try some different stuff. Uh, I don't know if you're interested in that or if you're, I mean, if you're just here for the book discussion, I mean, you're welcome to, you know, you're welcome to, to tap out. And oh, I, I didn't have any other plans. So if you guys don't mind me sticking around, I, I, you know, always, you know, interested in what other people are doing and that sort of thing. <laughs> okay. Are you the, uh, now this is going to sound like a forward question. Are you the uh, religious type? Um, no, I believe in science. I guess. Fair enough. Is that a problem? Not at all. You uh, strike me as the type that's willing to learn. Oh, I'm yeah. Saying, <laughs> so, why don't you stick around? <clears throat> sure. Um... I think uh, after a few minutes of, of kind of milling about, uh, Brianna goes to a um, another a, a, a bag of hers that she has has sort of carried in um, and starts pulling a few things out and uh, setting them up on a table. Um, some of these things I think you recognize um mm -hmm. fairly innocuous to you maybe not for a study session or a book club um some some candles and other sort of accoutrement um and she pulls them out and then um out of her bag she pulls this uh this large um huge sort of old looking leather bound book um with some some sigils on it on the uh the cover and kind of sets it on the table and i think she is sort of eyeing you as she mm -hmm. does this to like gauge your yeah reaction yeah are you reacting <laughs> uh abby's gonna like tilt her head to the side and kind of like look at it like someone who's interested in old books not like appalled but like oh that's a uh, the, the heart it's a hard cover is that leather like <laughs> sort of that sort of thing like oh that's interesting i don't think this is demonic at all i don't know <laughs> what you're talking about I so what she's gonna try to do. Am super gonna have you roll to manipulate <laughs> based on that description, which is wonderful. Uh-huh. It's gonna be great. Hold on. All right. Okay. Uh I'm gonna use a luck on that one. Okay. All right, so you rolled a four. <laughs> Which can't be helped. Um, you can spend <laughs> one luck point and make it uh, automatically a 12, I yeah. think. Yeah. Um, yes. So. Do you still get XP? Uh, no, because it no, because counts it as a success. Though. Yeah. Yes. Cool. Um, what is your. Uh, your My luck? Is when you spend a luck, you'll discover something happening now is related to something you were involved in years ago. For Abby, probably not that long. Maybe it's directed uh, due to your actions, or maybe someone else is dabbling in the same areas. Okay. Which would make sense. 
Or maybe I've seen the book before or something. It would. I'm going to hang on to that so we can talk about that. Um, sure. Uh, but yeah, you um, pull this off. <laughs> this, um, I... I don't know if if it is because you are confronted with something that you like do recognize and you're comfortable <laughs> with. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think you you in this moment sort of steal yourself and manage um, to uh, to pull off this this look of interest. Um, maybe you're not interested in the things that she thinks you're interested in, um, mm -hmm. but but I think you nail it. And um, she starts to uh, kind of set all of this stuff up on one of the tables, and she brings the. Um, the book back into the uh, the circle that mm -hmm. you were all sitting in, um, and I think she looks at uh, all of the current members of the club, and she looks at at you, kind of sitting next to her, mm -hmm. and says, "Well, all right, everyone, let's get started." Anna, we're gonna have to go ahead and end our session for the day. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. As we're already pushing our time. Yeah. Um, Sally's just been playing like five finger filet. Like, <laughs> come on, what's happening in there? Uh, and we will pick up next time to see just exactly what Abby has gotten herself. Wynn's ears are burning outside. Yeah, right. In the middle of <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, you're probably going to get talked about some more. <laughs> uh, we will see. Uh, so, yeah, we'll pick up next time uh, very, very quickly. Um, let us hit our end of session stuff because now I'm pushing our time already a little bit. I'm so sorry. Um, you guys are just all so interesting. You do interesting things. Uh, <laughs> at the end of the session, the keeper asks the following questions. Did we conclude the current mystery? No. No. Oh, did you save someone from certain death or worse? Yeah, we saved maybe her. Sally did. Yeah. We saved somebody. Courtney. Oh, you did, yeah. You did carry her out of a basement. Yeah, for sure. It's a good one. Uh, did we learn something new and important about the world? Yeah. Yeah. They're witches, bitches. <laughs> witches, bitches. <laughs> I would say so. Um, that is two. Did we learn something new and important about one of the hunters? Yeah. Yes. Uh, our, our order over here, Mr. Hex. Hey. I don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> they have a big old ES. Yeah. So that's, yeah, three. So everyone gets two experience. Ooh, I level up. Level up. Yep. I only rolled once. <laughs> oh. It's all right. As Abby, I was, or as uh, Maggie, I was getting all the points. <laughs> uh, I am sure there will be some things for you to roll for <laughs> next time around. Don't yeah, worry about it. Kill me. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> Travis is gonna come back and be like, "Where's Abby?" <laughs> <laughs> you guys, wait. You guys are in the library. Why? <laughs> She's in a den of witches. <laughs> you sit there in her by yourself. We will deal She's with not those. She's by herself. She has her phone. <laughs> Duh. Duh. Um, but yeah, we'll deal with that. We're going to have to talk about that luck point. Um, and we've got some really interesting stuff coming down the pike. So yeah, that was so fun. Uh, thank you guys once again for for you. playing in my nonsense world today. Um, so and uh, so glad to be back at it. And thank you everybody uh, who watched with us today. We appreciate you so, so much. Uh, we will be back in two weeks um that will be october 13th at 4 p.m eastern time so right in the middle of spooky season we will pick back up um with abby in the middle of a witch coven and seeing uh, just exactly what is gonna go we're right outside it'll be fine we're right <laughs> outside yeah you'll be all right maybe play with your know. witch friends <laughs> we'll be right outside <laughs> <laughs> It's a day date with demons. <laughs> it's fine. This is this is baby town frolics compared to some of the other stuff that's in my brain, so. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> but you're gonna have to find out about that in two weeks. Um until then, follow us on Twitter at Game Nights with two G's and a K, um, as well as all these fools you can see their Twitter handles right below their faces. They're very good. Um, they're they're very nice 
people and they're good friends. I love them and you should follow them on the stuff because um, they will make your lives uh, better and check out all the content that they are creating all the time, including uh, including but not limited to here on Game Nights. Um, but we'll see you in two weeks for some more uh, Spooky Witch nonsense. And uh, yeah, that's all I got. Until then, good game, good hunting, and uh, good night, internet. Good night, internet. <laughs>